<clears throat> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. My name is Adef, and this is Challenger Approaching. We have an unbelievably special show cooked up for you tonight, but let's get into that in just one second. Let's get our announcements out of the way right quick. Frost Fatal's 2023 prize submissions are open now until February 20th. Go to gamesdonequick.com for more info or use exclamation prizes in Twitch chat to submit your prizes. And if you want to follow what Games on Quick is up to, use exclamation links in Twitch chat for all things GDQ. Now, gamers, a couple months ago, I don't know exactly how long ago it was, but maybe six months ago, I had a, a good friend of mine on, Ain Run, and we, we did a little friendly wager on GeoGuessr, but around that same time, Ain said, what if, what if we showed off something that I'm really good at? And I said, hey, yo. So now, tonight, on Challenger Approaching, I'm proud to have my friend Ain Run, who is going to show off some Elden Ring. Now, Ain, first of all, welcome. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I, I am good. I am thrilled to see what you have cooked up, because when I asked you to be on the show, you were like, what should I do? And I was like, I don't know. Uh, and what you've come up with, I think, is really fun. So could you explain for the gamers at home sort of what we're about to see? Right, so I'm gonna close Elden Ring and play Super Auto Pets for the rest no, of the stream. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, so a, a lot of people have done Elden Ring stuff for I guess GDQ, and you know everyone knows like what a typical like hitless run or a speed run is like. I wanted to do something a little different, um, and uh, yeah. So recently, there's been a new I guess subgenre of Elden Ring content out there, where there's uh, multi X bosses, and uh, for those of you that don't understand what that is that's okay we are going to be doing a double bosses run uh, and i'm going to try to finish it within uh the amount of time that we have which is like three hours so what is a double bosses run uh let me let me just go ahead and show you so we're at market right now right and uh let's let's hope this goes well <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's I, I hope it goes well you can go ahead and start the timer by the way ray <laughs> So, normally you have one Margit, but over here we have two, and uh, I am going to try to fight two Margits, and two of every boss, there's two of every enemy, basically. And yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm going to be trying to do. <laughs> I really don't want to die here. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hot. So worth noting really quickly is that obviously the run does not typically start at Margit, um, but because the setup portion of this run takes so long, because Ain has to get like all these incantations and items right. and everything, um, we decided that it'd be fine to just start right in the action so you don't have to watch all the setup. Right, so I should explain that as well. I I'm sorry. I thought it would be way cooler if I just got into market and just killed him and then explained all that after, right? But <laughs> obviously, that didn't work out. <laughs> Basically, yeah, I've, I've gone past the setup phase for this run because, uh, well, setup takes way too long when you got to, like, fight two of, the, uh, two of the bosses. So, yeah. Um, that's what's going on. Okay, not bad. Yeah, that's good damage. Yeah, it is. And I will explain. All right, there. So, okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. Yeah, I, I, I still got it, you know? Just a, what, you stream Elden Ring every day. <laughs> what do you mean you still got I, it? I, I didn't stream Elden Ring yesterday, so okay, all right, I'm hey. out of touch. I'm so rusty. <laughs> He's rusty, dude. <laughs> He's washed. <laughs> all right, so let me just go ahead and... Uh, deal with the situation here okay so that's market done right so that's what we're doing today uh hopefully it's going to be entertaining there's two of every enemy in the game so there's two of every boss there's going to be uh two radigans two malekits uh two godricks two of every boss right and i'm going to be trying to finish the any percent within uh three hours so that's the bare minimum amount of bosses that you have to do to uh complete the run now as Ada mentioned i did 
set up a save file that is past setup. So I have most of the graces that I need uh, before the capital. So I, I don't want to do the whole running segment at the start, right? Because it takes, I, I believe it takes probably close to an hour or something like that. Um, I have the Earth Tree Seal, uh, which is at a plus nine. And um, I have a bunch of talismans. These are the talismans that I picked up, uh, which should be good for the incantations that I have. Um, I have a physic and a bunch of tears on my physic. The only thing that I've leveled so far is my faith. I have 40 faith so that I can use some of the incantations that I have. And uh, w w when we get to certain bosses, I'll be changing my incantations and I can, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and explain what changes when we uh, when we get around to doing it, but right, we are basically in Stormwell Castle right now, and I'm gonna try to uh, get to Godric, who is the first Remembrance boss in most runs. I should probably level up here so that I don't lose <laughs> my runes as well. <laughs> this is like such a random run because uh, yeah, it's, yeah, there's it, no. That's sort of the thing, like. Uh, if you are an Ain Run enjoyer, which you all should be, by the way, and you'll have many opportunities throughout the stream tonight to okay. follow him, um, there basically you never know what to expect from an Ain Run Elden Ring challenge run, and it's kind of the most wonderful part about it is that they're all so different that it causes Ain to have to like solve really interesting problems, um, and by really interesting problems I mean impossible ones, and by solve I mean throw his oh head at it my. for like. <laughs> 40 hours. I'm fine. I'm alive. <laughs> right. So uh, most recently, I've been doing a 5x bosses run, which is, uh, yeah, well, five of every <laughs> every enemy in the game. And I've done one of those with sorceries. And most recently, I finished one of those with only incantations. And the reason why I decided to do incantations for this run is, well, one, because it's really strong, uh, but also two, uh, they're pretty cool, and I feel like not enough people actually know how to use incantations. Like, you know, most players typically like either go for the melee weapon art builds or the sorcery builds. Uh, but incants are really, really strong. They're very uh, versatile. There's like a lot of uh, there's a lot of applications for incantations. So yeah. No, it's super cool. I mean, you know, I'm definitely one of those melee boys. I, I love melee builds. Because mm -hmm. um, I feel like magic tends to be a little overpowered in FromSoft right. games. Um, and that's just like a self imposed restriction, I guess. Mm -hmm. But watching your 5x stuff, I've been seeing, and, and you know, watching some of V Sweat's runs with various different builds, it's cool to see, like, there's an incredible. I mean, we know there's a lot of depth to this game, obviously. But the incants and, like, sorceries and everything, there's so much cool shit that you can do. Ooh, I said a bad word, Ain Run. I did not mean to do that. Did you? Uh, I didn't even notice. I did. uh, oh, <laughs> well, that that makes me feel way better because <laughs> I, I think that's my first one in a while. That's my, I, I haven't run a really? show and, <laughs> and let one loose in some time. Well, there's my one allowed. I allow All myself right. one. Mm -hmm. Um, cool. And now uh, I will be getting uh, pest threads over here. I'm actually supposed to have another spell that I don't seem to have right now, <laughs> <laughs> which I guess I messed up the save file, <laughs> but that's okay. Wait, what other, what other spells do I have? Wait, what is a save file? How do I not have one? <laughs> I don't have two spells. <laughs> All right, are they it's, easy it's, to get? It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they are easy. But I'm going to let, let me let me try to set without it because I really don't want to go and get it because uh, it's just going to be like such a big time investment, you know? Um, it'll be fine. You know, it's just two Godricks. How hard could that be? Right? How hard could it be? Yeah. So um, will, you, will you be changing your build on pretty much every boss? Um, kind of. Uh, I wouldn't say every boss, but a decent amount. I should actually sit down because my HP is in full. Um, certain bosses, yeah. Uh, so what's be... the what's the build that you're you're on right now? Like what's right this jellyfish? Now, what's this hood? Right, right. So well, that this is just like the confessor armor that you start with. Mm. Um, but mostly my build right now is, um increasing my fire damage basically like the fire scorpion charm gives me like i believe 13 percent or 12 percent, something like that a bonus fire damage i have a flame shrouding cracked here which also increases my um my fire damage so it's basically uh that's why i'm doing like a lot of damage with fire and now i'm using golden vow which is a buff that gives you i believe 15 percent. and then there's howlish abrary which is 
another buff, which gives you another 25%. So that's basically the way you do these runs. You 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 buff everything. And the jellyfish shield um, that I had on my right hand, we use that because it has a weapon. Uh, the, the weapon art of the jellyfish shield gives you a 20% buff to damage as well when it's active. So it's very good for these sort of um, these sort of challenge runs where you have to do like a lot of damage. Now. Usually on Godric, I use a spell called Frenzied Burst, but I'm gonna try to use Pest Threads here and see how good that is. Okay. Not that bad, I suppose. That, that damage is okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. I did transition them both into phase two, which is not <laughs> ideal, but <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we can do. So there's gotta be the double Godric cutscene. All right, we should be fine. Saved. God tier. Okay. So the spell that I usually use for Godric 2X or multi-X Godric is called Frenzy Burst. And the reason why we do that is because Frenzy Burst has a lot of range and um, bosses can't input roll them. So or, uh, I'm sorry, input read them. And now what input reading is, some of the bosses in this game are designed to dodge your attacks um, when they when, when the boss starts identifying that you've inputted a certain action, so like for a certain spell. And most spells have input reads, but that's why uh, Frenzied Burst is such a good spell. And you know what? I actually have to go and get it anyway, so we might as well <laughs> go and do that. Because um, I just realized there's like some bosses that I need that spell for. It's all good. Um, we could see a little. We could see a little running around. That this is sort of the, um, you know, another cool thing, right? Is that there are all of these interesting ways to buff yourself in Elden Ring. Yes. Uh, and it was interesting watching you try to solve some of the five X fights, being like, okay, well, do I howl once or twice? Like, is the jellyfish shield worth? Um, yeah, because the problem is uh, most of these buffs. You can uh, uh, something really cool about Elden Ring, which is probably why it's a lot of fun to do like all these different sorts of challenge runs on is that you can actually get a lot of damage because uh, there's so many buffs that you can stack on top of each other but the problem being some of those buffs only last for a very short window so you got to like actually do a lot of math to know you know what time like do you actually have enough time after you buff to like get into the boss fight and get the uh get the damage off so when i did my 5x run recently um i think it was for radigan and elden beast I used, I believe, 13 buffs uh, in total, 13 or 14 buffs. But the problem was, by the time I'd get the first buff off, the second buff would run out. Oh. You know? Um, or, or, I'm sorry, by the time I'd get the first... The final uh, one. Yeah, the final one, yeah. Um, uh, when I'd do the final buff, the 13th or 14th buff, um, the first one would run out because it would only last for that long, and it takes such a long time, right? So, you know, uh, trying to figure that out, it's it's... Quite interesting. It's a it's a different type of challenge, I guess. Yeah. Um, than you know, typical hitless running or speed running. But yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun. Uh, very difficult. A lot of RNG, and not a lot right. of people enjoy the RNG. But you know, solving it is uh, is still quite a lot of fun. Now, I wonder where the spell is. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't <laughs> actually. <laughs> frenzied burst. Frenzied burst. Wait, am I even in the right place? Is it Frenzy Burst in the other village? Okay, I think I might be in like the wrong area, but it's okay. <laughs> now this is an Ain Run experience. <laughs> this is an Ain Run experience. <laughs> uh, it's all right. We'll we'll just take a a scenic trip around the Weeping Peninsula. Mm, very good. There's something over here. Yes. It's also uh, worth noting that that Ain, you know, this is not his first foray into like difficult you know, Dark Souls challenge right. runs and stuff because you, you're, you're by tradition, a, a hitless run. Uh, yes, I, uh, I do a lot of uh, hitless runs. Usually, um, I have like four or five different hitless runs in uh, certain categories in Elden Ring. But um, yeah, typically that's, that's what I do. Though with Elden Ring, there, I've been having a lot of fun doing, you know, just all the different sorts of uh, content that's out there. So yeah, it's been, it's been quite a lot of fun. 
Visweed says it's on the Scarab in Frenzy Village. Oh, it is, isn't it? So I'm just going the wrong way. Okay, whatever. Let me let me pick up a grace and then we'll go there. That's actually fine. I don't. I, I know where it is now. Okay, you know, like I got to give the bosses a chance, right? If I got to do this in like yeah, three yeah, hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what's over here? I know there's a church with like giant rats. That's the this only is actually thing I remember. Elden Ring GeoGuessr. <laughs> this is my first playthrough. <laughs> right, okay, I hear the rats. What's in here? Let's find out. Maybe some a, a tear or something? Is that it? I swear there's something more. Oh, the Flame of Frenzy. Well, that's useless. All right, let's get out of here. Um, don't worry, now I know where we're going. And this is very good. Uh, uh, did, you, did you like it? So that's the Weeping Peninsula. For those of you that have never played this game before, <laughs> you know, you're welcome. Uh, let's see, what grace do I have over here? Uh, Grand Lift is that this? Okay, we can, go, we can go and pick this up. It's not a big deal. So, Ain, what's, uh, now that you've finished 5X on your own stream, what's, what's next? That is a good question. Um, I feel a little sad that I'm done with the 5X runs because it's, uh, it was actually very, very challenging. And I feel like I was, you know, doing that for a while. But, uh, yeah, no, there's still a lot of stuff that I want to do. Uh, most recently, Team Hitless, um, which is the, the main Hitless organization, they've, um, they have a a bounty that they announced for all the uh, the Elden Ring Hitless runners. So I'm probably gonna check that out, which is a rune level one region locked. I'll explain what that means, but a rune level one region locked. Um, oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. A rune level one, a region locked, any percent glitchless, hitless speed run. Those are a lot of words. But uh, basically what that means is you can't level up and you're region locked. And what region locked means is that if you are in a certain area, can I actually kill these guys from here? Find out. No, I can't. I wonder if I can like hit him from here. You know what? I'm probably going to be fine. I'll just wait for the... Uh, Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'll just wait for the uh, madness to end. Um, region lock means that you can only leave an area after you kill the main remembrance boss of that area. So if you start in Limgrave, you got to kill Godric before you leave the area. And then when you enter Lyurnia, you got to kill Renala. Hopefully I don't die here. All right, there's two of these guys as well. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, so there's a there's an event hosted by Team Hitless, and it lasts for the entirety of February. So I'll probably be doing that. Um, I think it'll be pretty fun. It is really difficult because you can't like level, and it has to be a Hitless run and a speed run. So, well, so that's uh, we'll how see they what like, happens. So it's not just you know who's able to do it first. It's it's more who's able to do it the fastest. Right. Exactly. But it's also got to be Hitless. So that's the problem, right? It's not just right. like a normal speed run. So, yeah, a lot going on there. Uh, so someone in chat's asking why I picked incants over sorceries. Ah, just because I feel like sorceries are probably more boring since most people have probably seen it. And so I thought that, you know, incants would be something... Oh, that's a huge rat. Okay. Right. Okay, well, this little guy. All right, he's dead. Did the other guy disappear? He did. So I'm gonna quit out so that it reloads the um, the beetle. So this beetle has the spell that we need for some of the bosses. Actually, just one boss, I think. No, two bosses for Goldfree and Morgoth. We use uh, the spell that I'm about to pick up called Frenzied Burst. All right, there it is. Very nice. And now I can continue with the run. How long did that take? Like ten minutes? Yeah, it was like ten minutes. Yeah, I just thought sorceries were a little bit more boring. Um, you're also, you're also, you know, you're really practiced on incants right now. Right, my most recent run was an incants, and I thought, I thought it was cool. So yeah, pretty much. 
Cool. So now we are going to go and do the second Remembrance boss, Radon. And um, Radon is actually one of the harder bosses in this run, which, uh, you know, is going to be interesting to see how we, how we deal with him. But, okay, so I have Catch Flame, and I will have... What other spell should I have on? Uh, Frenzied Burst, I guess. Actually, I don't need Frenzied Burst. Uh, my Physic is fine. I have all my Flasks. I guess I don't have... Oh, I can level up. All right, I'm going to get a little bit of a Faith. Just pump up that Faith, because it's going to be very useful for uh, damage and stuff. And, oh yeah, I need more Flasks as well. I need to upgrade my Flasks. So I've already got, done the... Uh, I've already gotten like sacred tears and golden seeds so that my flasks are at a decent level because I don't want to like have to go around and collecting those. But yeah, we're going to be doing something called a stake skip here, which is a way to get into Radon's arena a little bit quicker. Do I fall down? Yes, I did. Okay. So that's an intentional death. We, we jump on top of that pillar and we skip past the, um, the kill box that FromSoft has uh, put up over there. And we die in the arena, so the stake of Marika actually respawns us right in front of um, Radon's teleporter, which is a, a cool little trick that you can do in these runs. And yeah, I think I got everything here. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and try to do Radon. Radon is actually very difficult, though, believe it or not. So I will be using some of the summons. What we do with Radon is initially we ride back so that it deloads him. And then when we ride back inside, his AI works in such a way that he actually comes to you and we don't have to, um, we, we don't have to go towards him and try to dodge all the arrows, which is a, a neat little trick that you can use. Casual greeting, let's go. Casual greeting. So I summon one of the Radons. Or, or I'm sorry, I summon the uh, the buddies. And then that gives us time to deal with this guy. Hopefully, without interruptions. Okay. Well, I'm just dead, because... <laughs> <laughs> Expect a lot of dying in this run. All right? Like, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, no, that's to be expected. That's, right. Th this is not going to be deathless. No, of course not. This is, like, stupid hard. Even skipping all the setup, like, you guys, I... Right. You know, I, a lot of times, some of the challenges that, that, that come on here, like, are so refined. They've been practiced forever. This is wild. Like, this is really hard. But that's to be expected. I, I figured I would die to Redon a little bit. Not a big deal. I just gotta get the right RNG, which is what a lot of these runs come down to. I actually got a little unlucky there because the down on the left came towards me. While what I really want is a guy on the right. Right, so this is what I really want. It is still a little close. But... Hopefully this is fine. Okay, drink a little. Roll inwards, go out. Is he coming to me? No, he's not. Okay, so this is good. We kill one Radon. And now we can focus on the other. Very good, very good. This attack is great because you can just strafe under it. And yeah, Catch Flame is just super strong. Oh, okay. So most of these melee... Most of these bosses that you can get melee range into, you just use Catch Flame. It's very fast. I have a lot of fire buffs. He's going to escape here, I'm pretty sure. Which is fine. We can deal with him in phase two. There's a cool little cheese kill that you can do as well where he dies, where he falls into the water and he dies, but I'm pretty far away, so I won't be doing that. And this should be it. Cool, so Radon is dead. I can Very try, nice. not bad. And uh, yeah, so though that's our second Remembrance boss, which lets us gain access to the capital. So how's your day been, Adef? 
It's been really good, but it's better now. Oh, you likewise. Know, the, 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 the secret, the secret behind running a GDQ show that's been going for two years, over two years now, is bring on the people whose streams you just want to watch. Mm -hmm. And then it's, a, it's thrilling every time. <laughs> yeah, no, that is fair. So, you know, I, Ain Run is a, is a typical late night watch for me. So it's, Ain is, is frequently on the second monitor. My schedule is so bad, but you know. Hey, it means that you're picking up viewers that otherwise would be. Someone's got to do it. Yeah, you know, so, for the, somebody's uh, for all got the... Thank you for doing it, Ain. I appreciate uh, that. You're welcome, you know. I'm glad I don't have to do it. Mm. So uh, now we are going to access the capital. Um, and what spell do I use here? I think I, I think I go for this. You know what? I'm going to do something fun. And let's actually see if I can pull this off. All right, I have four, four cookery, so <laughs> I actually don't know if I can, but we'll see. All right, I have a broadsword. I'm going to do a, a cheese that she can actually perform on the Draconic Tree Sentinel. What happened to my cookeries? I was supposed to have way more cookeries here. I'll try to do. Uh, I'll try to do a fun little cheese that you can do. Does it work on two X? Uh, I believe so. You just have to like pull all the uh, tree sentinels or both of the tree sentinels one at a time. But it's not a big deal. If it doesn't work, I'll just like do the uh, the normal kill. Is there a particular part of this run that you're nervous about in? Yes, um, Malekith. <laughs> Malekith is a miserable boss. Uh, I spent on my 5x run for Malekith, I think I spent 22 hours in total on that fight. It was really bad. Uh, but when I was practicing this particular run off stream, uh, I actually first tried it. And so I was like, oh, okay, that's consistent, right? And then I just like quit the game. So I didn't have to like die anymore. <laughs> um, Okay. Rude. But yeah, Malekith is definitely one of the bosses that I'm very concerned about. And Radabeast at the end. The last the last few bosses are quite concerning. Um okay, so what I'm gonna do here is where's my broadsword? Okay, I have my broadsword here. I'm gonna try to Drag one of these guys. I don't want to drag both of them. I just want to drag one of them. So there's a certain distance that I have to be at. Right, so that's what I want. I think he starts walking towards me if I move. Yep, okay, there it is. So I got to like pull him back. Also, just realized I don't have a bow. So aiming this is going to be really difficult. <laughs> right, and now what I do is I jump up. This is so not gonna work. I, I needed a bow for this. <laughs> okay, so we wait here. Let's see how good my free aim is. What do you think, Ada? If you think I got this? Ain. Uh, yes. Okay, not bad, not bad. There's the first one. And now I do that. Is he going to turn around? Is he going to walk towards it? He is just circling around. Okay. Actually, that's good. Nope, that's not good. One more. Okay. That went way too far. There. Oh. Move. Where's he going? What's he doing about a cookeries? <laughs> okay, you know what? This is... He's leaving. <laughs> what is this? This Sir. is going well. This is going well. What is your problem? Don't worry, I can figure this out. Surely. Um, Aaron, oh. this isn't an incantation. Excuse me. Yeah, you know what? It's it's just. Don't worry about it. Oh, you know what? What if I just? Don't worry. Listen, I really want to get this kill because it's gonna be so cool. Okay, I'm alive. Oh. No, I'm the, oh, is it? Yes, let's yes. go. Yes, let's go. <laughs> we did it. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Does that count for both of them? Uh, well, I know I gotta kill. Yeah, I mean I gotta kill one more, but don't worry, we we can get this guy as well. <laughs> Um, I do get the rewards because when you do the 2x bosses for open world bosses, the um, the rewards are a little bugged where they just give you the reward for the right one. Oh, got to dodge that. Okay. Right, okay, so he's coming. See, I've still got this. Ain't I never doubted you. This is such a huge time loss, so you have no idea how much time I'm losing. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> right, so I died. Yeah, that you would appear um, to be dead now. <laughs> right, I do appear to be dead, right. But you know what's funny? It's okay, because uh, he's not going to respawn now. Uh, I'm reading someone in chat. Right, the fifth Matt. So the fifth Matt in chat is a guy that made this mod, by the way, the uh, the two X mod. Uh, you're not the most recent. Right, right. I know. I just I was too lazy to get the most recent uh, randomizer thing. Let me get my. Let me grab my souls. So what happened there is um, the second tree sentinel. What, what happens with the open world bosses with this mod? Because I don't have the uh, the latest version. Is that when you kill? Um, and this is only for open world bosses. When you kill one of them. Both of them die, and uh, I should have been on the latest version, but honestly, come on, I, I can just do that again, right? Yeah. It's not yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll just, Gamers, uh, can we, uh, can we get some, I just, I just want to gauge really quick on chat. Uh, can we press one if we think Ain Run is a gamer? That's what I want to know. So we're in there's the capital a, there's now. A of, there's a bit of delay. There's a bit of delay. Mm. Or maybe they just don't think I'm a guy. That's fine, you know? No, 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 I've no. I've always no. considered see, myself see, more of like a poet. I, I, oh, I is that right? Of, I do. I write a lot of uh, poetry. Could we hear some? Adef. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's, was, that's that was gorgeous. I'm, more, I'm still working on it. I couldn't think of a, a prettier word to start right. with, to be honest with you. Yeah. Look, we we a first letter username guys. Right. We gotta stick together. I mean, what even rhymes with Adaf? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna do gonna do a skip here. Was that cool capital skip? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of parkour. Just got to wiggle a little bit, and there you go. Drop down there, and then jump. Easy. I've not seen that version. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool, but you can slip off every now and then. So, you know, do it at your uh, at your own risk. But yeah, I think that's like the only boss. Draconic Tree Sentinel is the only boss in this any percent run, which is like an open world boss that we do. Which, uh, you basically got to do both of those bosses in the first try, else if you, if you kill the right one like I did over there, um, you kind of end up with, uh, you, you, and then if you die, you, you're going to be, uh, it's going to be a little unlucky to, uh, or, or you can't, you, you won't be able to do the second boss because when you respawn, the game considers the bosses, uh, as already having been defeated. Right. But yeah, that is uh on the on the latest version of this mod that has been fixed. I just You know how as streamers we're just like really lazy to change? Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel that. Right. Like I haven't changed my clothes in like a month. You know what I mean? Is that right? Yeah. It's just I would encourage you to rethink that choice. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You do whatever you want. Mm. <laughs> but I would, I would strongly encourage you to reevaluate that decision. All right. Well. But hey, you know. At ADEF, uh, did I miss the buttresses? No. Good news. Lots of buttress content. What? what? I'm sorry. What? 
I can't do this again. <laughs> uh, okay. When Aggie was on, we had a whole conversation about architecture. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Never took Aggie to be. No, so he was asking cultured. me about it. Ah, okay. <laughs> Not to That's say nice. that Aggie isn't cultured. I only bring mm. on cultured people, of course. I see, right. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let me also level up. So we'll get a little bit of vigor. I'm pretty happy with where my faith is at right now. And uh, yeah, you guys will now see why the spell that we picked up, Frenzy Burst, is, uh, is as good as it is. Or a uh, goal free. Do you have a favorite boss in the game, Ain? Um, a favorite boss in the game. Yeah, I would say yes, probably Millennia or Moog. I really like Moog as well. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's because I'm like a challenge runner and like those are like the most difficult bosses. Um, right. So it could be that, but when it comes to the aesthetic, I think Malekith is just like the coolest boss. Um, everything they did with that boss is super cool, with like the cutscenes and um, I don't know. I, I love the OST. Oh yeah, there's a lot of cool bosses in this game. Look, unpopular opinion, but I'm gonna say it. Soldier of Godric. Yeah, that's like my third favorite. Uh. <laughs> I was gonna say this game is pretty good. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, Soldier of Godric to... number mm. one. I forgot to pick up an item that we gotta go back and get after this. Not a big deal. There's a uh, talisman. All right, here we go. So frenzied burst. Why is it so good? It does a lot of damage. It's a fire spell, so it gets buffed by fire stuff. But also, bosses can't do anything. Like they they can't imperate it. So this is literally, I can just like stand here and keep spamming it. And you know, it's uh, it's good. That's good for us. Okay, I did just get, oh God, I don't want to die, please. I'm fine, I'm alive. Yeah, this is one good thing about this boss is that he doesn't really, if you get far enough away from him, he kind of just walks slowly towards you. Yeah, I really dislike this arena though. So now that one's done, we can just do the normal fight. That's the biggest, uh, I guess, that's the crux. Oh, I don't have mana. That's a, the crux of this run, basically. You just want to get one boss out of there as soon as possible and then just make it a, a 1v1. And uh, everything else ends up being very simple afterwards. But yeah, Godric would have been way faster if I just used Frenzy Burst. The only problem with this spell, it takes a long time to cast. You gotta like charge it up. And it does uh, more damage the longer you charge, right? Yes, it does. Right, I should also mention, uh, the reason why we hold, uh, the reason why this spell is so good for these multi-X boss runs is because uh, Frenzy Burst, if you hold it up and if you charge it, Probably, nope. It, it, it pierces the enemy, which is an invaluable feature to have in these multi X runs. So, if you line up the bosses and if you charge it up, it, it goes through and it hits everyone in like a straight line. Um, you can kind do like of a, a collateral. Pretty much, kind of similar to like Night Comet in, um, in Sorceries. So, it's, it's very, very good um, in that regard. So, I just need to go and grab. A quick spell. Uh, I need to go and get, or um, excuse me, not a spell, a talisman. I need to get the Ritual Sword Talisman. The Ritual Sword Talisman is a talisman that gives you 10% bonus damage when you have uh, max HP. And I can actually use it now because I have the, uh, the slot, which previously I didn't, so yeah. This game is so pretty, man. It really is, isn't it? It's not fair. I think I'm even playing in like low quality or something. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's. It, um, I had a few f uh, frame rate issues initially when I uh, when I was challenge running, and I was just like trying my best to fix it. Mm. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it.
the 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 howl when you use howl of shibiri is really yes. It it's really sticks loud. with you. It, <laughs> it, it's a howl, isn't it? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's what you expect a howl to be. Okay. That's a good fight. They're they're very weak. Like, these boss, uh, uh, these two bosses are just, like, very fragile. That's and That has nothing to do with how much damage I did. Um, But, yeah. So that's nice the ritual. chest open Talisman. skip. Let's Thank go. Thank you. I like that, dude. That is so hard to pull off. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So what is that talisman you just picked up? What does that do? The Ritual Sword Talisman. So it gives you a 10% bonus um, bonus damage when you um, have full HP. All right, let me just make sure I have only the spells I need here. I'm pretty sure everything is good. Uh, my Physic should be fine. Right. So we're about to do Morgoth now. And you know what's interesting about Morgoth? What's that? Morgoth is also very uh, susceptible to frenzied bursts, so the fight's actually gonna be very, uh, <laughs> very quick. At least I hope it is. So what we're gonna do for Morgoth is actually I don't have enough HP. Ah, that should be fine, right? No Who needs way. HP? No oh, I also didn't level up. Ah, that should be okay, right? What we're gonna do is quit out immediately. <laughs> Because, no, no, there's a reason, right? Because how this boss fight on the first encounter, how it works is it spawns you very close to the bosses. Um, so, which is why I quit out. And now when I quit out, I can get my buffs off. But now when I enter the fight, I'm going to be super far away from them so I can just keep casting spells without a problem. So that's the, uh, that's the quit out tech. Huge brain. Right. And now you just spam Frenzy Burst. It's that simple. Gotta be a little careful because the other guy is getting a little too close. Nice, I got a Pierce. Okay, he's coming in. I'm a little terrified. Oh God. Everything's okay. Oh God, Adaf, help me! I, there's nothing I can do. Okay. All right, so I mean, this is this is great. Oh, okay. Oh, that hurts. Oh, I. Oh my God, this attack! Look at him, dude! Look at him go! He's insane. Oh, I'm, f I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Don't He's worry fine. about it. He's fine. Oh, that was not okay. <laughs> that was not okay. <laughs> I need help. You should have leveled up. You got 190 thou. I need, I need to summon someone in chat right now. <laughs> I need assistance. Guys, right, can someone please put down a summon sign in their 2x playthrough? And we're fine. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, are you serious? Surely this is fine. Okay. Surely I don't die here now. All right, I'll fight. I'll fight him uh, straight up now. Just because I can, you know? Right, of maybe, course. Maybe I'll back out a bit. All right, what's the situation here? Right. Very right. nice. That was decent. Whew. Right, okay. So, easy mode is over. All right? Now uh, now comes the rest of the run. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, for those of you that haven't played Elden Ring, or, well, for those of you that have played it, you, you probably know where the run's going now. But... Everything after Morgoth just ramps up in difficulty, like, so much. It becomes so incredibly hard because uh, we have Fire Giant, Godskin Duo, and, yes, it's going to be Godskin Quattro. 
All right, there's going to be four of them. <laughs> Cuatro. Yeah. Um, Love the roll in the R there. That's good. Thank I mean, you. Put, put those yeah. Spanish classes to the test. Yeah, I, I did a lot of preparation for this GDQ run, all right? I, oh, I, I, took right? My, I called up my Spanish teacher, all right? What's, what, what was their name? Jack. Jack. Senor Jack. Yeah. Um, Jack. Uh, I should, I should, okay, I should get more mind here. I actually don't even know, like, what the, what the appropriate level up is or anything. You know what? No, I actually need, I need two points in a strength index. 17 mind. Bigger. 30. You know what? I'll go with, like, 65 and then get a little bit more mind. There's no, like... You know, formula on how to do the rest of this no. run. It's just, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no. But yeah, everything gets so much more difficult after Morgoth. Um, so I can't wait to see uh, how the rest of this run's gonna go. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Fire Giant, everybody's favorite boss. Yeah, it's kind of funny though, because I feel like Fire Giant. As much as I dislike Fire Giant as a boss, um, Fire Giant at least has, um, I don't know, he, I, I feel like he's more feasible than some of the other bosses like Malekith or, or like Radigan and Elden Beast. But Is that just due to the, the size of the arena or? Well, when it comes to, well, Fire Giant, at least he's kind of slow, right? Um, right. And there's like a few mechanics that you can use, which I'll explain when we get towards the fight. Uh, there's a there's a bunch of cutscene teleport mechanics that you can take advantage of. Um, but with Elden Beast, the problem with Radigan and Elden Beast is that you do both of the fights together, right? So you kind of have to do all your preparation for both bosses before you enter the Radigan fight, because you don't get enough time to like use your buffs and stuff for Elden Beast. Right. And so you kind of fight Elden Beast without a lot of buffs. Along with the fact that Elden Beast is pretty much resistant to everything. So, yeah, it's, uh, it, it is a little complicated. Uh, so someone in chat's asking, does Malekith change phase when the first or the second Garonk dies? Malekith changes phases when you kill one of the Garonks. Um, so if, you, if I kill one of the Garonks, then I will have... Let me actually pick this up as well, because this is a, a handy talisman that we can use. Um, so when I kill one of the phase one Malekiths, I will be left with one phase two Malekith and one phase one Malekith. They don't both transition. Uh, they don't both transition at the same time. They transition individually. Which was sort of like, I mean, watching the 5X, that was like kind of the whole thing, right? It was like, how many do you want to juggle at once? Yeah, pretty much. Um... Well, the problem with Malekith also, and there's five of them, is that I, I think Malekith is probably the boss that does the most amount of damage in the game. I don't know. He hits like a truck. Like, it's crazy the amount of damage that he does. And then he's got the whole destined death mechanic, which is like unique to him, where like if he hits you, he uh, like your, your max HP goes down as well. Uh, he jumps around a lot. He's very mobile. There's just uh, a, a lot of things going on with that fight. So for 1x bosses, well, or, or for the vanilla game. 1x um, you know, bosses. <laughs> for the vanilla <laughs> game, Malekith is actually very trivial because um, because he does so much damage, at least I'm assuming that's why, they designed him such that he has very little HP. He's very fragile, you know? So you can, you can stagger him, and then you can pretty much kill him when there's only one of them. But when there's, when there's multiples, it gets very complicated. And now comes the um, one of the more boring parts of Elden Ring speedrunning and hitless running, where after Morgoth, it's just a 10-minute horse trip towards Fire Giant. There's nothing to skip. There's nothing to fight. You just you just drive your horse. You know, you just fuck y'all. You just oh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh stinky. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's Super Autopad's been for you, Adev? 
<laughs> it's been good. You know, I've been trying yeah. to get this Doberman ribbon, which has been tough. But, you know, I've been getting these dubs. I've been getting these dubs. And, and what have you been playing casually recently besides uh, besides Elden Ring? Um, I've just been learning how to uh, how to be polite and well mannered. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, it's a, it's a work in progress. Such such an Ayn run answer, dude. <laughs> Ayn's chat is like, or like watching Ayn's stream is like watching a man truly devolve into madness. Mm. It's delightful. It's actually, I would say, your your stream gets less unhinged. It becomes more hinged the longer it goes. The first hour is truly anything goes. That is true. You know, it's it's only like after after a few more hours, I just kind of accept the fact that like things are not going according to plan, right? And then I'm gonna be stuck there for like 13 hours or something. So that you know that that helps a lot when you it's, it's when some you level of acceptance. It. Yeah, pretty much. Um. I would say on, on that note, you guys, um, everybody, if you are not following Ayn Run on Twitch, you are making a massive mistake because I'm here to tell you that there is almost nothing better than going to bed at like mm, 1 a.m. after watching like an hour or two of Ayn and then waking up <laughs> eight hours later and his hair is disheveled, he's further down in his chair, the he's doing 40 minutes of setup, and he hasn't spoken in 15 minutes. That is the cream of the crop. So if yeah. we could get a shout out, if we could get a shout out for Ain in the in the in the Twitch chat, please. I, I highly recommend you guys follow him. Dude, he's also been on the he's been on the come up. Go ahead. He's been on the come up, my man. Adef goes to bed and he says good night and he goes to bed and I'm like looking really smart and like my hair is all done. <laughs> and then like when he wakes up, I'm kind of like. <laughs> this is what I look like. I'm just like, oh god, what's going on? Like, and I'm I'm somehow the same boss. Yeah, okay, you look on. like you've just received the worst news of your life. Already <laughs> much. I gotta like. Ah, oh, all right, that's good. I, I framed it with the horse. Yeah, nice. that's ex <laughs> okay. I just saw on the delay your webcam. That's exactly what you look like. <laughs> Right, anyway, while well, all of that was going on, I just did something really cool, all right? Yeah, it was cool. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not going to tell the gamers at home what you did? Right, so... I'll actually, I'll probably be doing it again when we get to Fireshine, but um, there's some cool torrent mechanics that you can do where whenever you summon torrent, and when you de-summon torrent, uh, you get a lot of iframes. And so for certain fights where you can actually use Torrent, it's, it's very useful for uh, Fire Giant as well. Um, you can basically use that to save a lot of time and to, uh, I believe you get more iframes than when you roll with Torrent. Um, unfortunately, not a lot of fights, not a lot of boss fights that you can use Torrent on, so it doesn't actually end up being that useful. Um, but for the Fire Giant fight, it's very good. But, yeah. Hey streamer, what's an iframe? Ah. Um, that's a great question. Hey, if you didn't prep me for this. Yeah, sorry man, this wasn't on the notes. An iframe is called it's basically an incredible frame. That's what it stands oh, for. Oh, wow. See, and I always thought it I always thought it stood for invisible frame, you know, like right, the game, no, call the game skips a frame. Only incredible people. This is such a bad joke. Like, I don't even know I where I'm going it. with this. I, I you liked, liked it. it? Yeah, yeah, I liked well. it. It's an invincibility frame. You can't right. get it. Yeah. So it's a frame where you are uh, invincible, right? So when you roll, you have iframes. It's basically the entire uh, concept of uh, Souls games where you can, um, you can dodge a lot of... Uh, things using uh, rolls <laughs> and uh, mechanics that give you... I'm sorry, I was just paying attention to that invisible bridge. I didn't want to fall off of it. All right, what I just rode through, there is an invisible bridge um, in that area. Aggie and I were talking about last week how much we hated that casually. The bridge? Like, yeah, they don't like teach you where to go. <laughs> like, oh, no. I didn't even, I'm surprised that you guys even found that casually. I didn't even, I didn't even know. <laughs> oh, no, I definitely died yeah. there like twice. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, from software tropes 
uh, that you know have carried yeah, over from Dark Souls One. But they were handled better in Dark Souls One. The Crystal Caverns. That is fair. Like, the Crystal. Looks, yeah, that is fair. It looks fair. good. I agree. DS1. I agree. It was quite quite a bit better. But there's a bunch of cool incantations in this castle fort area, but we're not really going to be uh, picking it up because don't really need it, I guess. I did use it a lot in the 5x runs, but I think with any percent. So uh, it is it is a shame that this area is kind of desolate and frowned upon because as far as is. like snow levels go, it, it's really pretty. Um, and I, I, feel I do like wish it had more going on. I feel like that's a staple of like snow levels in every game though. Like I'm not sure if I played a single game where the snow level hasn't just been like barren, you know? Um, I was thinking about it. I don't know. Like, I, I completely agree with you. It, it, it does feel very empty. And um, someone in my community was actually mentioning how, like, okay, a lot of speedrunners really dislike this entire segment because yeah, it's, just, it's very it. boring. Yeah. Every Elden Ring runner I've ever had on any of my shows just right. complains for this whole 10 minute segment. It would have been nice if they gave you a way to bypass this entire trip by like, I don't know, fighting another boss, you know? Like if you go through um, a dungeon or something like that, it would have been really, yeah. really cool. Because at least there's something to do at that point. And it's a, you know, it's a good, I guess it's a, it's a, it's a decent shortcut that you can take if you want to. Oh boy. Okay. Anyway. Um, let's see, so Fire Giant time. <laughs> And this is gonna be pretty interesting. All right, so Fire Giant, there's one spell that we use, it's called Pest Threads. Um, and that's that's pretty much the situation. There's there's nothing else. Um, I do wanna like, I think 7-7 seven, seven should be good enough because I'll have to heal a lot. And all right, hopefully this works. <laughs> Oh wait, I was supposed to get another... Oh my god, I didn't even go to round table. Hold on, I was supposed to get another talisman slot. I completely forgot. I think the best snow level in the Souls series is Kanehurst Castle, but, you know. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, and Chad, From... is, Chad is having discourse right now. That's Bloodborne. I've never played Bloodborne, actually. Oh, Ain Run, you absolute I buffoon! I don't have a PS5, I'm broke. PS5? Bro, the game's on PS4! Oh, is it? Yeah, it came out on PS4 yeah, like a gets, decade wait, why, ago. Okay, hold on. Why do I not have an extra talisman slot? What? This run is unhinged. I love it. I'm so confused. I wait, <laughs> wait. Why do I not have a wait? Okay. Oh right, I have to buy it for round table. I think if I if I miss it. <laughs> this is really good. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know. All right. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we're, we're, we're good, we're good. We're back on track. You guys know I have a world's first and only hitless run? That's right, even, it's capable, all right? Someone, someone even like you. me. Even you. Even me. If you believe enough. I'm just uh, popping on my soul so that I can, um, Level up a little bit more before I go to before I go to uh, Fire Giant because this fight is actually like really really stressful. Get a little bit more HP, I think. All right, are we back on track? We will we never are, be on track. <laughs> we are back on track. No, we're not. There's we are no about way. to fight two Fire Giants. Look at them. They're just they're just standing there with their with their plate. Uh, all right, so what we're gonna do for Fire Giant is probably die a bunch, but after that, the proper strat, and I came up with this during my 5x run. I actually didn't even set up my talismans. Oh God, okay, hold on. It's fine, everything's okay, everything's under control. I okay, do that, uh, do that, take off all my clothes, because I need some of my armor. Yeah, th this is this seems fine. So what we're gonna do? Wait, where are they? Oh, okay. We're gonna buff up, right? But I'm gonna pull them over here. The strat here is I want to deal with them one at a time. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling them away as far as possible. I actually, oh my god, this is such, this is such a mess. 
<laughs> what did I tell you, Chad? That we My will never be on track. Is we not will, prepared at all. We will never be on track in this no, room. No, if I need help. I They're can't coming. help you. They're coming to me. Your howl is gone. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, my house still here. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We are so fine right now. Like, okay, I am. Okay, we are. You know what? We're gonna do a quick little quit out. Yeah, I think that's smart. And we're gonna like redo this, right? Um, In fact, Ain, you know what? We could take our first break right here if you wanted to, and then come back fresh into Fire Giant, or you could do oh. Fire Giant and then take the break. It's up to you. Uh, let's let's just do Fire Giant and then take okay. a break because you know I need to redeem myself. Sure. Right. <sighs> Don't worry. Surely it's only going to take me a couple of minutes, right? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. You really wanted to take that break, didn't you? No, I I'm enjoying <laughs> myself. <laughs> All right. So this is good though. It gives me a chance to explain what I'm doing again. So what I want to do is I want to kill one of the fire giants as far away from the phase two spawn, right? Because what that does is the cutscene into phase two will actually teleport me um, far away from the giant that I don't kill, right? So that kind of lets me basically deal with the giants one at a time. And that's kind of the strat. So that's why I drag them all the way to like this side of the arena. We're fine now. This should be great. Everything's beautiful. Everything's beautiful. Right. So I'm just doing my usual buffs. I'll drink a flask. Do that, but I don't have stats, so I do that again, but I two-hand this time. Get on my horse, go in. Bait the attack. Oh, that's very good. And now we begin. Hope I'm not dead here. Okay. So <laughs> it, the, the concept is there though. <laughs> we were <laughs> we were almost there. We were almost there, guys. <laughs> that was a bit unfortunate. <laughs> But yeah, Pest Threads is a very good for a Fire Giant because uh, Pest Threads is a spell that actually does a lot of damage <laughs> if you um, if you have big bosses, like bosses that have huge hitboxes. Because what Pest Threads does, the spell that I'm using right now, it travels through the body of the boss and it hits them multiple times. So that's why it ends up doing a lot of damage. Uh, so you can see that I'll be using this for Fire Giant. You can also see that I'll be using it for... Um, or Elden Beast at the end. Oh, that okay. I was curious why you were using pest threads on Elden Beast in the 5X, so that makes sense. Right, yeah, it's just, it travels through, like, big bosses. It's, it's very good against, like, Placidus Axe. Pretty decent against, like, Estelle, if you can, like, get the right setup for it. Okay, surely this time. I just got to go through the feet. That's good. That's what we want. There you go. So what we did there is we killed one of the phase one fire giants, right? And what's going to happen here is the phase two is going to spawn us away from the other end of the arena because you always spawn at a fixed position for phase two. And what that lets me do is it lets me just deal with one phase two fire giant all by himself, which I will be doing here. Okay, so I got a drink and pest threads, pest threads. I was a little late there, but I think I should be fine. And yeah, that is a lot of damage, but I do have to kill him here. Oh, God, don't kill. Ah, Aiden, hey, help me. You got him. Okay. Right. Well, oh, there you go. I'll reapply my buff. And yeah, what's really good about Pest Threads over there in Phase 2 Fire Giant is you can actually 
hit his head, and he takes 20% more damage on his head. And now we can, it's just a, a, a one fire giant fight, you know? Should be more doable. No, oh, I don't have mana, so gotta deal with that. We go towards fire giant. And yeah, he takes a lot of... Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, can I pop it? Maybe? No. Hmm. Oh, it popped. Oh, I actually did pop it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a slower fight. I don't have the jellyfish shield buff, but... Should be okay. I am going to ride my horse away. Because these volcano explosions actually one-shot me. It's a lot of damage. So yeah, what we just want to do is just stay at a distance from Fire Giant so that we can avoid all the fireballs. I'm pretty sure all of those spells one tap me. I want to go back in, pop some of these. And we should be good to re-engage. He is rolling away right now. Okay. Decent damage. Oh. And that should be it. There you go. Nice aim. Nice. Let's go! Huge! And um, you can take that break now if you want to. Let's uh, let's link the fire and then we'll... Or whatever it's called in this game. <laughs> Light the cauldron, I don't know. We burn the earth tree. You know what my theory about this game is? What's that? You know the, the plate that Fire Giant has? Yeah. What if it's like the lid of this uh, cauldron huh. out here? Yeah, you, you never know? think about it, right? Un until I tell you, because I am an intellectual. Well, what I would say, game. what I, what I would say about your hypothesis, Ain, right? Uh, using the scientific method, I would right. like to challenge your hypothesis by saying, I think that plate is a little small for this cauldron, but maybe it's a piece of it. Well, when I play with like five X fire giants, you know, yeah, I think if fair. you like, you yeah, fit them all, fair. right? Wins big bosses any percent. What? 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 Just like double the size of every Double boss. the size. <laughs> I don't know if my game would be able to load that, but. <laughs> All right, gamers, we are going to take a quick break. Everybody stay where you are. There will be no gameplay while the break is going. Don't worry. Uh, and uh, we'll be back with more Ain Run and more Elden Ring. Double bosses, any percent incantations only. That's a mouthful. Right after this. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Challenger Approaching on the Games Done Quick Hotfix. My name is Adef. We just finished, well, we, Ainrund, just finished 2x you Fire Giants. <laughs> um, but, you uh, were so the one quick, playing. That's right. I've actually been, my hands have been reaching across the continent uh, into, into Ainrun's hands to control the controller. Some quick announcements, though, gamers, really fast here. Your subs, Prime Gaming subs, Gift subs, and Bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support games and quick hotfix. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the daily speedrunning content. Well, you know what? We'll go with that one announcement for now. Oh, you, can, you can finish. No, 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 oh, that's I'm, good. Um, oh, sure. <laughs> I just completely just, just interrupted you and ruined hey, your flow, fun. didn't I? No, that's what no I usually flow. do. There's no okay. flow. Um, right, so we're talking to Melina right now. Melina, for some reason, ends up burning the tree and herself in the process. Uh, my first playthrough, this was very awkward because, you know, it's supposed to be a very emotional scene. They play, like, a lot of music and, like, you know, she's like, okay, goodbye. It was nice traveling with you and stuff. And, like, I think a lot of people were supposed to, you know, shed a tear. But I completely forgot to talk to Melina my first playthrough and, like, every single situation. So this was like actually the second time that I spoke to her. Like no, this, the is, first this time. is genuinely my second time talking to her. Oh, really? In the whole, yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, oh, okay. I guess she's gone now. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, oh, dang. W were we a team? 
<laughs> it was the, yeah. it's it's the first one when she comes the like she comes into your inventory the first time. Right, then, right, exactly. And then yeah. when you beat Morgoth, Morgoth, she talks to you the second time. And then this is the third. Then right? this is yeah. the third, yeah. But like apparently, I didn't know you could like speak to her at like multiple spots when you rested like the graces. But then I I'd, I'd never noticed because like they just never showed you that you could like talk to her. There was no indicator, you know. Yeah, if I'm going uh -huh. into the grace, I'm going to level up. Yeah. Well, anyway, so that's the tree. I watched half the cutscene for you guys. Is she not in your inventory, Ray? I'm confused. <laughs> it's who not in your inventory? Melina. Why would she be in your inventory? I don't know. I just, I the spur of the moment, I didn't say the right thing, and now I'm being okay. chastised for it. And No, and you're, frankly, you're right. You I know what? Your inventory is great, all right? I love you. your inventory. Thank you. Thank you. Th I, you have a very nice inventory as well. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. No one's ever said that before. Well, count me among the first. Right. Chat, you guys have adequate inventories. Mm, yeah, I would say that. Let's not build any, any, any weird kind of, you know, parasociality here. Right. Adequate inventory. Right, so we're in Faramazula right now. Uh, Faramazula is a place, I don't know, I was like gonna go on, on a tangent explaining the lore and, and then I just realized that I probably don't know a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of tornadoes here for That's some reason. True. That's true. I think Faramazula is supposed to be like a place stuck in time. Um... And the reason you're here is to fight Malekith. And Malekith holds the Rune of Death. And the reason why you get the Rune of Death is because that's what you need to kill Elden Beast. You know what? I do know the lore. Yeah. It's not nice. bad. But yeah, we're, we're about to get to uh, our friends. Oh, the Godskin, the Godskin Quartet? Yep. I just got to make sure I pick up a spell first or a spell book. It's not that important, just a minor spell book. Uh, it's a prayer book, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That was not supposed to hit me there. Would you call the Bible a spell book? Well, I, I, I guess it depends on what you learn from it, you know? Dude, I'd read the Bible if I could get these spells, you know what I mean? Honestly, real talk, if if reading the Bible allowed me to use magic, I think I'd be... A lot of people would I'd actually... Be, yeah. Everybody be reading the Bible. I uh, know, right? They should probably try to use that as like a, they a selling point. Doing that. They should be uh. doing that. If they're not doing that, they should be doing that. <laughs> right. Okay, so we pick up this grace. Um... This grace is kind of annoying here, though, because it's uh, it, it, something happens with the two X bosses where that dragon is always aggro to you, and it doesn't let me teleport. So I gotta like go and hide here. Um, and there's a reason I gotta teleport. So now we go on another little trip with Torin. That I should have probably gotten the grace when I made the safe fall, but I didn't. So let's just let's just go ahead and do it. We are gonna go visit one of the best characters in this game. To, uh, well, a fan favorite, let's say, is I need to uh, turn in that prayer book. And that prayer book has a spell. It's not, it's an okay spell. Not, uh, it's not broken at all. No. Um, a little spell called the Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike, which uh, we'll be using for most of the, most of the, Remainder of the run. Actually, only two bosses, as far as I can remember. Well, there's only At least like when I was practicing. Three or four bosses left. Well, there's there's two God, in Faramazula, and then there's Duo, four after. Malekith, Gideon, yeah, um, Horlu, oh, and, and then Radagon, Radagon and Elvis. Yeah. 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 Well, there's a few, you know. Look at those blue boys. That's my commentary lost. on that. You're lost? Where am I? I don't know. That doesn't shock me, given what happened in the first hour. But you need to get the map. I can't. I, well, I'm o I'm on Map Quest right now. You remember Map Quest? No. What is that? Is that like a a video game? No. <laughs> oh. I um. It was uh, before Google Maps 
there was a service called MapQuest. Like when? During ninth, the 1990s? Like No, this was like 2006, 2007. Really? And uh. you would have to, because there weren't smartphones, and yeah. there weren't like map apps, you had to like print out the MapQuest directions and keep them in the car. This just sounds like some hipster stuff, you know? Like you had Google Maps, but then you decided to go for this instead. When I was a kid, my brother used to use Google Chrome. Well, we didn't have Google Chrome then, did I? My brother used to use Firefox. And I wanted to be very different, so I downloaded Netscape Navigator. Do you remember Netscape <laughs> Navigator? <laughs> yes, I know Netscape and Navigator. And then I painstakingly used Netscape Navigator because I thought it would make me cooler. Isn't that um, browser from the 90s? <laughs> Yeah, I was born in the 90s. How old are you? I was born in the 90s. Oh, okay. <laughs> when were you born in the 90s, Aiden? 1994? I'm 28. Okay. All right, what I'm 98. 98. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Bam. As, as to, so I'm 98 years old. Oh, 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 I see. Damn. What's it like? To be 98? Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. I feel I feel spry. Um, okay. I'm no idea uh, what that means. I'm but. really glad that I'm spending the twilight years of my life playing with the youngsters, <laughs> playing playing Pokemon and hosting a GDQ show. Hey, if the, if that's what it's like to be 98, I don't mind. You know, like yeah, that's doesn't fair, sound actually. too bad. That's really fair. Oh, it's my 11 month sub anniversary in the GDQ. What should I say as my sub message, Ain? Um, follow Twitch.tv Ain Run. Okay. You shouldn't ask me. I'm always going to use the opportunity to solve promo. I have no As you should. respect. As you should. And here he is. Mariel. The Turtle Pope. We're talking to a uh, good old Turtle Pope. Uh, and how many, uh, how many of you killed him in your first playthrough? Because you are all evil. Don't do that. There it is. Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike. And now we return to the Dragon Temple. We're about to do Godskin Duo. Got to set up the spell. Ain, sorry, do you have a do you have a favorite like uh, Dark Souls ism? Like how you know when you read soapstone signs or whatever, it will say like you know try finger try jumping. Right, but hole or whatever. <laughs> do, do you I, have Do you have one that you like? Yeah, my favorite is how like everyone for the last twenty years has just been like. There's there's one constant debate in the community, and that's about Dark Souls Two, right? Okay. Like everyone just has to keep yeah. talking about Dark Souls it's Two true. no matter what, and yep. like it, it always entertains me reading that uh that discourse because it seems like it never changes, right? Like I have no personal opinion on it, but. It truly does never change. It's, it's it just yeah, it just never changes. All right, here we go. We're about to do. That didn't really, didn't really answer my question at all. <laughs> um, I wasn't paying attention. Let's be honest. Okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. Hey, look, I appreciate fine. the honesty. Have fun. Um, Dark Souls is I don't know. Not really. Um, what's yours? I said it before, and I don't really want to say it again. Oh, the because... soapstone thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right. no, no. I'm saying, what's your favorite soapstone thing? Like, which soapstone message is your favorite? Oh, like... I thought you were asking me, like, what's my favorite, like, like no, thing, no, no, like no, no, a no, thing no, 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 like no. the soapstone thing. It's, no, you know, no, no, no. Mi hablas español. <laughs> so, no, did you porque... Just, did you just say, mi hablas? That's not even the correct... Is it's, that not? Oh, I was going for it, French. It's it's right in French in like <laughs> Nova Scotian. Um, All right, but uh, no, right. I'm asking what soapstone message is your what favorite? So oh, oh, okay. You you asked me what's my favorite Dark Soulsism? Yeah, about soapstone. <laughs> Look, I maybe didn't phrase the question quite right. So you're but, you're the problem. But then you said, "May hablas." You're asking me to speak Spanish to you. <laughs> do you not know. actually? Do you not actually speak Spanish? Si, senor. Oh, boy. Mi permite es de de teléfono. Oh, okay. Wait, do you speak, sounds like... Do you speak Spanish? I speak French, so I understand some Spanish. Oh, je parle français. All right, go fight the boss. All right, here we go. So, we drink the physic, a golden vow. How is your brewery? Right? And then we do a little bit of that, which is a jellyfish shield. I drink... 
And there they are, the buddies. They're here. And we just hide behind a pillar and Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike and pray that everything works out. This is basically the strat. We just pray. All right, I got a drink again. All right, that guy's rolling, which is a little concerning. Okay, not bad. Good damage on one of the duos. Right, if this seems OP, don't worry. I'm pressing thousands of buttons. Oh, God. Okay. Right, right, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Oh, God, he's coming. Hey, yeah! You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Uh, are my screams, like, entertaining? What do you think? Uh, I think so. I think the V-Sweat moan of it all is pretty good. Right, okay. Right. Well, this is... You know what? This is okay. I think this is going great. I would say it's not going bad. Right. I just... They were supposed to be dead by now. But they're not. Okay, so that's one death. One done. Uh, cool. So, Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike is basically the common azure of incantations. There you go. All right. Nice. Whew. We did it. Um, it is one of the most OP spells in the game. You thought Comet Azure was bad. Like, uh, this spell is just another level. It's, it's so strong. The only thing that the spell lacks is... It's quite RNG. The lightning strikes are not always consistent. Um, so it it takes a little bit of, uh, of luck. But, right. That was uh, not too bad, right? Godskin Quathro. We thought it was going to be difficult, but not that awful. I have to do a quit out there so that I don't get hit from behind. And Mal um, Malakith next. Malakith next. Malakith is, uh, I would say... Possibly the hardest boss in this run. So that's exciting. Now we take a little bit of a leap of faith here. Okay, that... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have never missed... You know, I have watched hundreds of runs of Elden Ring, and I have never seen someone miss the job. Dude, that, it's because you weren't like, looking. You weren't looking. That wasn't even that close. I was so confident that I get it. Oh my god! How anyway. do you feel about the about your performance so far in run? Um, you know, I I can. It's it's it gets the job done. All right, it gets the job done. Yeah. I'm always about it being funny. Oh, this is interesting. For some reason, in the multi-X mods, uh, the Crucible Knights all fight each other. And I like to stand here and, like, watch them. It's, uh, it's very cool. Who do you think is going to win, ADF? Uh, I think the guy that is on the left right now, the guy that's fa not facing you, I think he's going to win. Yeah, no, the guy on the right. Look at that. You didn't expect that, right? Yeah. yeah the guy okay, on the right wait. I didn't know they sure. had a fire-breathing attack. Yeah, actually. the guy on the right is definitely going to, like, it's it's going to, yeah. Look. What a Wait, now the guy on the left. I'm confused. Who's winning? It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh! Oh! Okay, I'm out. Jesus Christ. Okay, he was coming for me. Wow. Some nice souls. That was entertaining. Runes, sorry. Okay. And now we do this part. The infamous bird zone. The really, bird really zone. hate this area. You're not doing the skip? Uh, okay. No, because I want to get the somber 10 stone here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would normally do the skip, but I need the plus 10 for Radigan and Elven Beast. So I... Uh, I'll just try my best here. You know, surely nothing can go wrong. Surely not. The skip is cool. Uh, I think it saves 
Just about like 30 seconds. How did like you that? not get I, I don't know. I'm just going to act like that was all intended. Okay, easy, easy. Cool. Yeah, fancy. Uh, so we got the plus 10 Somerstone, which means I can upgrade my Archery Seal plus 9 to a plus 10. Uh, hopefully that's good enough for Elden Beast. If it's not, don't worry. I have a save file prep. One way or another, we are finishing this run. <laughs> Nah, you've, you've got plenty of time. You have an hour and a half to beat, like, four bosses. Yeah, but they're all, like, the most difficult bosses. And, like, these guys are insane, too! Oh, my God, stop! Dude, my neighbors are going to be so mad at me. Like, I've been screaming so much. Usually, like, it's during the day where, like, I'm silent because I stream at night. Wouldn't they be angrier if it were during the night? Well, yeah, they are. They're angry. I'm saying they're gonna be like even more angry, right? I'm gonna get evicted. Are you know, you? they sent me. They sent me like a notice the other day. Like my neighbors, they were like, "Please stop being loud." <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, they did. I, I I have it framed somewhere here. <laughs> well, not framed, but. <laughs> what are uh, you gonna do? <laughs> well, that was a couple of months ago, and I. Oh, you just said it was the other day. Literally, you well, just okay, said like, it was you the know, other it just day. the days all like blend into one. You know, it's just. Are you thinking about yeah. getting a new apartment? Yeah, it's just really expensive, so... Yeah, but you're making mad Twitch uh, dollars, right? yeah, baby. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I'm like a millionaire. That's right. I sent them a, a response saying, hey, say? I am a YouTuber. Yeah, that's easier to explain than Twitch. Streamer. I do, yeah, I do video game, I do video game journalism, right, is what I said. Why um, would you be screaming if you're doing video game journalism? It's it's very I'm very I'm a very passionate journalist, <laughs> right? <laughs> and um, and so I was basically like that, that one level, by the way, is going to make all the difference, <laughs> right? It really is. And then I said, uh, you know, I the, the most important part was I ended my email with "God bless you," right? Oh, that'll do it. And they never like responded, so I'm they gotta respect like, that. That got the job done. So, all right, Malekith time. Really dislike this boss. I mean, it's 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 a very cool boss, but like, <laughs> oh, Malekith. I first tried this when I was practicing last night, so hopefully, you know, it goes just as well. You told me you did it first try last night. I did, I did. All right, let's see. Let's make sure that I have everything set up properly. Uh, I think I do. Um. Let's do it. So we go in. Golden Bow. How should be? Oh, I didn't get a plus 10. I wonder if that's going to matter. Surely not, right? I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Jellyfish shield. Drink up. And now I just stand here. I wait for them to run up to me. Like that. And now I start charging ADLS. Hopefully one shots him. Okay, it did. Very good. Ooh, kept one in phase one. That's good. Yeah, that's that's really good. And now it's now time to do phase two. So Malekith has very little HP. He has 5,000 HP phase one, or 4,800, I think, phase one. And then phase two, he's got 5,500, something like that, so a little bit more. He's very fragile. But ADLS RNG is, is very interesting for this boss. Hopefully I don't get one tapped. Let's... Uh, Let's do phase two. This cutscene, by the way, is like the coolest cutscene in the entire game. It's uh, uh the, the way he transforms. Did you guys know, right? Here's here's a uh, here's some Elden Ring trivia. If Malekith takes off all his armor, he is a very naked dog, and it's it's very comical. So uh, that's good trivia, right? I usually talk about that during parties and stuff. Like, you go to parties. Uh, well, because I, 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 well, look, I mean, I do wouldn't. You, can you invite me to one, maybe? Uh, would you like to, would you like to come? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's why I brought it up so that I could ask you to. Very suave way to bring it up. That right. was good. I right. didn't even notice. Right. 
All right, here we go. Malakit in phase two. What we're going to do is we're going to stand here. Hopefully, the other Malakit doesn't come running. We're going to go in, lock on, just Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike. Hopefully, one shots in. And... Oh, come on! Wait, I killed the... No! Oh, God! This is terrible! Oh, God, Aiden! Help me! It's going to be fine. Okay, what's the situation here? What is the situation? This is... All right, we're just going to improvise now. Hopefully, this does something. Oh, God, we did it. We did it, Ada. Oh, my God. You Let's would be go. together. Let's go. Okay, so I'm, I'm helping so much. That's one down. Now, I'm going to try to go in and fight using pest rides. Pest rides is actually pretty decent. Oh. Why, why not just use ADLS again? Because... Oh, God, you're right. I'm not that good at this game. Um, I just wanted to prove that I can... I don't know, it's just fun, you know? Sure, hey, you can do Without whatever you it. want. Right. But now we retreat. Oh. Never mind. Okay, we go under his foot and we heal again. Hey, where is he? Okay. All right. Immaculate dodge from Malika. Okay. There you go. He's, How is he alive? He's on one, dude. He's on Die. one. Die! I missed. Die! All right, there you go. Incantation yeah. only, by the way. Incantation only, by the way. Right. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Um, first try, though. First try. I mean, you can you can ADLS. Um, Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike, by the way. You can you can use that um, for the fight. It becomes pretty rudimentary at that point, but. I don't know. I like to. Uh, I guess when there's like one fight left, because I'm pretty familiar with most of the um, most of the fights when there's just like one boss. So, right. Yeah. All right. Time to figure out what this boss is going to be like. So Gideon coming up next can either be the easiest boss or he can be like the most annoying boss. All right. Go upgrade to plus <laughs> ten. Uh, by the way. Oh, you're. Oh my God, Adef. What a champion of the people. I got you. Um, people, people meme at Gideon because, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's not, he doesn't have a lot of HP and he's just like an NPC boss, but he's actually, once he starts spamming, it's, yeah, it's, it's not easy at all. But, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I actually died when I was practicing, uh, Gideon yesterday and it took me an extra 10 to 15 minutes. Because <laughs> if you don't kill him the first time, then he gets a really, really difficult spawn. It gets like really hard to do the fight. He doesn't deliver actually, the monologue again? Yeah, he doesn't deliver the monologue, exactly. Well, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, I do have to change some of my spells. I'm actually wondering what to even use. I'm probably just going to use Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike, but... Um... I'm a frenzy. Oh, I could actually like use frenzy burst now that I think about it. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Oh, I should also level up. You didn't remind me. This I. Uh, Unfortunate. Not everything's okay. my job. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna level up faith now and see what happens. <laughs> see what happens. Yeah, we're well, just gonna gonna see what happens. So usually things get really difficult at this point because when I do like the five X bosses or the two X bosses, um, I get to farm a lot, right? It's it's very, it, it's not easy, but like you can basically go to Mogwin Palace. I'm sure most people are aware of that spot where there's a lot of enemies that give you a tons of souls, runes, excuse me. And you can basically power farm. You can power level all the way up to like, I think at 5x bosses towards the end, I'm level 99 now. I think for the 5x bosses, I was close to like 300 by this point. 
or something like that. So a lot of the levels do end up mattering. Like you can use better seals, you can use, uh, you can have better armor. You know, there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, and that's normally what I would do, but uh, I don't really want to farm right now because it's, you know, I'm trying to like do this run, but there they are. Oh, I kind of forgot there's going to be two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Get in, of course. Famous for asking us to uh, repeatedly find the Albanoric woman. And, oh, right, I should also explain why he looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on. Oh, I'm, I'm cracked. Holy. Oh, my God. He's dead. We did it. Okay. Wow, so hard. Right, so the mod I'm using has this option where you can randomize the clothes of the um, of the NPCs, and I just think it's funny, so I did that. <laughs> so yeah, that's why he. Uh, that's why he looked like that. Yeah. But all right, that wasn't that bad. Uh, it, it can get really awful if we do. Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike and the RNG dictates that the, the lightnings miss him. In which case, you know, he'll start casting spells and then you gotta like... Uh, get in basically like two taps you. Like it's it's so difficult to deal with even one get in when he starts spell spamming and then like two is just a whole different... Uh, it's, the, it's, golden, it's, the golden frisbees is, is an, yeah, an oh annoying Oh my god, attack. dude. Dude, yeah. It is awful. But yeah, time for one of the coolest bosses of the run. I will once again level a little bit of faith. And I think... Uh, so uh, we're not going to use Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike anymore, I believe. Maybe we do. I actually don't remember. That's good. But that you don't remember. <laughs> I'd say that's good. We're going to be using a good old Catch Flame and Frenzied Burst. And uh, yeah, hopefully... Hopefully. This fight's actually pretty fun because you just fight phase two, more or less. And a little bit of phase one. But we do the same trick that we did for Morgoth. I go in, I start the fight, and then I quit out. I should watch a cutscene. That's my bad, chat. It's one of the cooler cutscenes. We, we'll watch the phase run. two cutscene. It's a speed run. Yeah, but I'm like the only guy that's run it, so. <laughs> you, know, you can set whatever you want. We're gonna set a world record at this point. <laughs> We world are record, on world record start, pace. Start from the first boss percent. All right. We are, in fact, on world record pace. Oh my god, I can't believe it. That's right, a world record on Challenger approaching. This must be a big moment for you, Adaf. This is a big moment. You know, two years yeah. in, I'm finally... It's The show matters now. <laughs> it's relevant. It's relevant. <laughs> All right, so we start off with the usual frenzy bursts. To soften them up a little. Bosses do not input read this once again, so it's good. And then now things get a little interesting because I gotta like drag them away. Oh. I gotta drag them all the way to the other side of the arena. And then we can go in and deal with our friend here. And I will trigger this guy. Never mind, I couldn't trigger him, so I have to run away so that he doesn't hit me. That wasn't that bad. Phase 2 is a lot of fun. You just fight with Catch Flame. It's kind of like a melee build, honestly. Uh, pretty much, yeah. I mean, that's why Catch Flame is so good, because it's a lot of uh, just melee. Or Right, that's the attack. You can get a double off on that one. Strafe this. Double. Roll away from that. Wait for him to come up to you again. I do want to drink a flask whenever I get a chance. Think I can get it off here? Yep. So, chat room, if, if you haven't fought this boss before, a lot of these attacks are grabs. 
And yep. basically, if Ain gets caught by any of the grabs, like it's. Oh up. no! Oh god! Yeah, just like this. Oh, I'm alive! Oh, let's go. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> what the? I cannot believe you lived that. <laughs> the one level eight up in batter. Yeah, it did oh, matter. Oh my god! Dude. <laughs> Dude, my God! Still hitless, by the way. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I'm fine. I'm fine. Here I, we go. Here I we was, go. I was never worried, dude. Oh my God! All right. Well, that was simple. See, I'm just a casual player. That's right. I'm gonna drink there. Roll in for a catch flame. Roll and then catch flame again. Does catch flame break poise? Uh, oh, very little. There's a couple of incants that actually do break poise, but it's um, it's uh, the setup for that takes way too long. Like there's the um, dragon claw, there's dragon maw, um. There's the Crucible Knight incants. A few of them do break poise, but they don't really break enough poise for it to be like relevant in runs, you know? Sure. Yeah. What's really cool about Horolu is you can you can just like strafe around him. And it ends up being a pretty fun fight. Just easy strafes. Nice. And that is Horolu. Let's go. Nice. Two bosses left. Pretty much. And now I will start dying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Because the last two bosses, oh my god, the last two bosses are really bad. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something ADAF. I love it. Um, right. Okay, so I had, I had like some strats here. Wait, okay, hold on. What is my incant scaling for? So I was 341. I guess that's fine. I, I feel like I should just get more HP, but I also don't know. Yeah, I'll just get more HP. Why not? I do have a safe file prepped with um, some of the stats in case I get stuck here. Hopefully, I don't get stuck here, though. Um, so, Radigan and Elden Lee, so last two bosses of this run. Uh, in my 5x run, I basically had 13 or 14 different buffs. It was a very precise strat that I used um, where I would one-shot all the Radigans, and then I would um, end up... Um, kind of one-shotting the LMB, I, I, but not really, but you would just like soften them up where they would die in like a single hit. Um, but in the 2x, because that takes like such a long time to set up and there's like a lot of levels involved and stuff, I actually don't do that. And um, I just end up kind of fighting Elden Beast. And the problem with this fight mainly is that y you don't get enough time to you don't get time to buff in between Radigan and Elden Beast. So there's there's a bunch of stuff that I gotta do. I basically gotta make sure that um that I leave one Radigan alive. And when he's alive, I gotta like reapply my buffs. Um so yeah, it's a it's a little it's a little, you know. G a little complicated, but can we get some blessing emoticons in the chat room, please? For the love of all that is holy. Can we get some emoticons in the chat room for Ain Run? And, um... Yeah. Yeah, no, well, we got this. Don't worry about it. It'll <laughs> be mean, fine. We have, like, an hour and a half, right? <laughs> our, our, our ten minutes. Our ten minutes. An hour and ten minutes? Okay, yeah, surely I should be able to do it by then, right? I mean, come on. Yeah. Um, but, all right, so let me just cycle through everything that I do. We do actually use ADLS, I forgot. Uh, we do actually use Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike for Radigan. Um, and then... I, I catch flame him, and then after he dies, I gotta like do a little bit of buff stuff. All right, let's uh, let's try it out. 
And then for Elden Beast, we actually use Pest Threads again. But then the, the, the difference is, I have a spell call, called Lord's Divine Fortification, which gives you a lot of holy resistance. That's very good for the Elden Beast fight, so... Yeah, all right, here we go. Good luck. Thank you. All right, so go here, ADLS. Okay, not bad. Decent damage. This is a scripted hammer attack. I roll in. I catch flame. Okay, missed the first one. Land the second. Take a hit, that's okay. Things are not going according to plan. Oh, God, ADF. <laughs> All right. I mean, this is, this is okay, you know? I'm fine with this. This man knows how to fight Radagon. It'll be fine. Okay. This is... Easy dodge. Pretty decent. Okay, now I gotta... I gotta do some stuff, though. Right, you gotta prep for Elden Beast. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get my buffs off. And I don't have a lot of time to do it. I'm just gonna, like, try to get it off here. Okay. Then I'll do a double drink. Nice attack. You can strafe around it. Jellyfish. Catch flame. He's done. Switch to that. Switch to that. Take all my clothes off. Uh, it is important to take your clothes off because I have a talisman that gives me more damage when I'm... Lower equip load. Lower equip and load. And now... We're not going to be able to kill him here, but... I did get the ring. Okay, I gotta be quick here. Lord's Divine Fortification. Okay, where's the next beast spawning? Spawning right here. I gotta try and kill him here. Oh, not like this. All right. Oh, Don't Elden worry, Stars fine. too? A little Elden Stars for the fans? <laughs> everything's okay. I just gotta believe. Oh god. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, one down. Nice. All right, this is pretty free now. That's good. I didn't even that have to load my save file. Oh my God, I'm actually good at this video game, ADF. Oh my let's God. Let's go. It's almost like doing five of them at once <laughs> has made it pretty easy to do two. I know, right? I never believed. Oh. And these are attacks that you can strafe pretty much. And we are good. Elden Star's time. Probably doesn't get it off. Let's go! Hey, nice, Ain. Hell yeah, dude. I that actually did it. That was really good. I was good. so scared. I was talking to my mom and dad last night, telling them that like I'm really like afraid of this GDQ thing. No, you weren't. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't know that I stream, so I... No, you weren't. <laughs> You absolutely were not. My mom is like, wait, what are you talking about? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, honey. God, wait. Jesus. <sighs> right, too. What's going on? Um. Right, so I did all the bosses. I could have probably ended up doing setup, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh... I can I can actually continue the run and do like a, a bunch a bunch more bosses if you guys uh yeah we we've got time so I think what we should do Ain let me yeah. let me know what what you're thinking on this I think okay. we take a, our 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 brief next break okay right now and then why sure. don't we go do some bonus bosses all right yeah let's do that okay. maybe a little millennia for the fans uh sure maybe maybe I could I could try to do two uh, x millennia. 2x uh, millennia, people will like to see that. Uh, well, so, okay, gamers, stay right where you are. Don't go anywhere. We're going to take a really, really quick break because Ain has finished way underestimate. Let's absolutely go, which means we are going to see some 2x millennia. It's going to blow your mind. Gamers, don't move. Stay where you are. We'll be right back. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games on Quick Hotfix. This is Challenger approaching. My name is Adef, 
And uh, gamers, we just witnessed history. Ain Run setting a sort of maybe world record on two bosses. There's two of every boss in Elden Ring. Any percent? Oh my God! Half cutscenes watched. Two breaks taken. <laughs> uh, this the most competitive category. Anyway, some announcements right. before we get into more Elden Ring content. Your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Games Done Quick Hotfix. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the daily speedrunning content. And excitingly, gamers, very exciting, Unapologetically Black and Fast is coming up this weekend. It starts tomorrow and runs Saturday and Sunday. Celebrate Black Excellence and Speedrunning coming up this month. Use exclamation UBAF in Twitch chat for the schedule. And uh, the, the schedule is really great. There's a bunch of amazing stuff on it. Some relevant things. We've got Bloodborne. That's relevant to people watching this right now. That's on, uh, I, I believe, Saturday from our very own Pleasantly Twisted. Um, and we've got Castlevania Soten. We've got Mega Man. We've got Mario RPG. we got Pokemon. I mean, there is some great stuff on this marathon this weekend, so be sure to check it out. It is on all weekend, Saturday and Sunday, right here on the GDQ Twitch channel. But Ain Run, yes, we just beat the game. What are we doing now? So, uh, this was supposed to be like a, a bonus 10 minute segment at the end if I just, you know, had barely enough time um, so that I wouldn't actually have to go through with it. But I forget why not do Millennia. Uh, Millennia, Except there's two of them, right? We are in the Halo tree right now, and uh, you know, Millennia is probably—I I think Millennia is the hardest boss that FromSoft has put out. And uh, I thought I could try fighting the two of them, but here's the catch: I'm not going to be using incants. I'm actually going to try to fight a melee. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how this goes, Ada. <laughs> what's your uh, what's your setup right now? So I do have the Serpent Hunter, which is pretty much the meta when it comes to like, well, uh, yeah, when it comes to like speed running and and headless running, um, it's uh, it's pretty good. You know, it's a it's a fast weapon. It's got a decent amount of reach and uh, does quite a bit of damage. I also have um, the charge attack setup. So all my uh, I have the spike cracked here and the axe talisman, which just buffs up my um, my charged R2 attacks so that it does like a, a lot more damage. So yeah, that's that's basically my setup. Nice. Well, whenever you're ready, go ahead and give a countdown and get in there. Attempt All right. number one. Attempt number one. Three, two, one. Let's wait. Hold on. I got to drink. Um, <laughs> right. I was also supposed. To, I was also supposed to buff, but you know what? Never mind. It's it's. It'll be it'll be okay. But yeah, there's two of them. So it's been a while since I've actually fought Millennia straight up. Um, without using any like spells or stuff like that. That's not true. I did kick Millennia a couple of months ago. Anyway, there's a cutscene. Let's um, let's get into it. So the the main problem here is that I kind of need to like drag one of them away from the other so that I can just fight him one at a time. But that is a lot. Uh, Okay, that's good. All right, I think we can fight here. Oh, I messed that up. I'm a little out of touch. Oh my God, I'm so rusty on this fight, melee. <laughs> There were so many punishment notes that I just missed. I'm also not wearing any armor because I like life rolling for this fight. I also really dislike this chair. We're going to break that one. Okay, let me see if I can like... If you cook cookery millennia... Okay, she's just hiding. You know what? I'll deal with you. Hmm.
got to focus a little so that... Uh, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not really commentating just to give you a chance to, you know, focus up. Oh, you can talk. I don't want it to be... Uh, I don't, really have anything, you, I don't really have anything to say. Right. I think the game kind of speaks for itself. Doesn't, re doesn't really get any simpler than just there's two really hard enemies and Ain's just going to town. Nice stagger. Okay. Oh, yeah, but this is... Uh... <laughs> I wasn't going to be able to waterfowl dodge her there. She was probably going to waterfowl. She's probably going to waterfowl here, I think. Yep. Oh. Nice. Okay, okay. So you basically end up just fighting them one at a time. It's not too awful. Oh my god, that was that almost hit me. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to drag her away so that I can once again, the cutscene spawns us in the middle of the arena. So I want that millennia to be as far away as possible from the middle of the arena so that I can spend a little bit of time just fighting face two millennia by herself. That makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, we just hang out here for a little bit. And I really hope she doesn't waterfowl immediately because I'm dead if she waterfowls here. <laughs> okay, good. So yeah, we got phase two now, and phase two is just... Phase two is a whole different ball game because Millennia is just so much more aggressive in phase two. And yeah. I'm really rusty at this fight though because I've usually, like recently, I've just been doing a lot of other challenge runs where you don't have to fight her melee. But I did, in like the bunch of hitless runs that I did do, I had to uh, fight Millennia hitless with this exact build. And it is a, it's a very involved fight. I, I do want to show you guys the Waterfowl 360 dodge if, it's po if, if I get it. Wait. We'll see. That was a cool cutscene, by the way. I know everyone loves this cutscene. Yeah, the cool part about this cutscene the first time is you're like, oh, cool. The 100 attempts it took to get here, there's oh more. Oh my god. I also really like the OST. It's, oh, it's uh, great. That's great. Yeah. But, phase two millennia, okay. So I did a run recently, like two months ago, I think, in... Wait, what month are we in? February? February. Yeah, two months ago, December, which was a kick-only run. I basically did millennia. I did, I did most of the bosses using only kicks, and each kick only deals like 60 to 70 damage. And my one successful millennia attempt took four hours to do. Um, like the one attempt. And that was like the last time I actually fought millennia melee. So yeah, we'll see what happens here. So we start the fight, we go around here. Wait for... Wait for the second pedal to come down. That's when you can go in. Oh, waterfowl time. Nice. There's the 360 dodge. Oh, God, she's here. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh my god, she's taking like no damage. What the hell?
I could have gone for a charge R2 there, but I kind of want to play it safe. Okay, we have the clones attack, so we just run away for this one. There is a way to punish it if you're, um, or to dodge it if you're close by, but I didn't feel too good with, uh, Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god. How am I alive right now? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Immaculate. God. Okay. You know what would be cool is if this procced rot on the other one. Uh, I think there's a setting that you can apply where it actually enables friendly fire. I just don't typically do it. Yeah, I mean, it's harder this way. Yeah. Oh, God. Hmm. <sighs> That attack takes so much time to get off. I could probably cook right here, actually, even. Oh. Oy, oy, oy. Okay. Oh my god! Who's this dude? Ah! <laughs> I definitely. I uh, uh. <laughs> oh Oh boy! All right, that's one down. One, 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 one down. Jesus! I can't actually believe I dodged so many waterfowls because I'm like really rusty with this fight. There was that one waterfowl all the way on the right wall. That was nuts. Yeah. I just want to make sure I don't die here. That's obviously dying is very bad. I'm not wearing armor for people in chat asking why I'm not wearing armor. It's because I want a life roll. Because life rolling is actually really, really nice on Millennia. Mid rolls are fine, but like, since I do hitless, I'm usually used to not using armor anyway. Because like, you can't take a hit, right? So it's just, I'm just a lot more familiar doing it this way, I guess. All right. Phase two. Good luck, have fun, gamer. Thank you. What are you doing? What am I doing? Mm-hmm. I'm watching you do this. Really? <laughs> 
Yeah, really. No, you're not. You're watching Netflix on the side. Be honest. Yeah, I got Ozark watching? running on the second Ozark? monitor. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I've actually got four different instances of four different episodes. I'm trying to consume as much content <laughs> you as know, possible. That's, you know, that's actually very, very efficient, very optimal. I'm the Chad Netflix enjoyer. <laughs> Uh, I don't share chats, passwords. It's four different accounts. Four different accounts. Uh, someone in chat's asking, what is life roll? Life roll is basically based on how much armor you have in this game. There's three different tiers of rolling. Uh, there's light rolling, medium rolling, and uh, heavy rolling. Uh, each of those rolls has a different amount of iframes when you roll. So life roll has the most. I believe it's somewhere like 14 or something like that. I can't actually remember. But each tier has lesser iframes and you cover more distance with each l lower tier of roll as well. So for instance, if I'm like light rolling, I cover more distance with it. So it actually helps me dodge waterfowl. And um, yeah, pretty much that's that's basically what light rolling is. The, the trade off there being you don't have armor, so you're very susceptible to just like dying, right? Like I'm pretty sure Millennia one tapped me with her waterfowl. Something, something like I would, that. I would have to imagine. Yeah. Especially phase two. Oh yeah, phase two for sure. But, all right, let's see what this phase two is gonna be like. Also, cookeries are really, really good. They have a lot of utility in this game, but you can also like proc a bleed more or less. There's a the bleed proc, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage, what the heck? Yeah, five cookeries. Melania is very susceptible to bleed. Yeah, that's how I wound up beating her. Yeah, most people probably. I think this fight took me a solid five or six hours. Oh, okay. That was a little greedy for me. Oh. Yeah, this fight is just... Okay, I'm not going to hit that. This fight is just so good, like... It's got to be, like, paying attention all the time. Yeah, I think my biggest complaint is, like, not really a complaint about the fight, per se, but about the fact... I mean, I don't know. Oh, it's, it's very intended, hard. It's, it's, it's intended really, really to hard. be a really difficult fight, but... yeah. Like, every action is readable. The problem is that you have to memorize so many that it's, like, unprecedented. Oh, for sure. Um, There's no other feel, fight where you have to memorize this many openers. I feel like the lifesteal had no reason to be there. Like, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's an unnecessary difficulty add. It's very, very hard. Like, I mean, I challenged on these games, and, like, the amount of time it took me to actually learn how to dodge waterfowl, Kind of crazy. I do want waterfowl to show you guys. Waterfowl is is the one move. If you remove waterfowl from this fight, I think it's perfect. Right. I personally like it because I don't know. I just I like challenges. I suppose. No, I but like it now. From a casual perspective, for sure. From a yeah, casual perspective, sure. I was like, this. It fully was undodgeable for me, and I played no, the fight for, sure. for six hours. For sure. I think V Sweat took like fourteen on his first playthrough. Beastman's so, an impatient casual player, is what I have learned. I'm trying to bait the clone attack so that I can show you guys a close range dodge. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get it because it is a rare attack. Oh, there it is. Okay, so dodge to the left, dodge to the right, wait for the troll, dodge, 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 dodge. Um, you can... Um, right, you probably didn't understand anything. You know what? That was a terrible tutorial. Um, all I did is say dodge five times. <laughs> it's perfect. But that's how you do it. Subscribe to my YouTube for more guides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's what you're known for. Making guide yeah, content. Yeah, tutorial content.
Nice. One more should do it. And there you go. First try, dudes. Yeah. Not bad, eh? That was nearly 20 minutes long. <laughs> I tried to stall as much as I could. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Can we get uh, if you don't follow Ain Run on Twitch right now, you are literally, I don't know what to do for you. I'm you will not sure literally what, go to jail. Uh, you're going to prison. Yes. Prison. Um, but yeah, a lot of people feel like multi-millennia fights are more complicated, or it's, it's hard because it's like, well, millennia, right? But it's actually, if you know how to do the fight, like with one millennia, it's it's only slightly more difficult because phase one millennia is very passive. So you can you can just, you know, kind of kite her around. It is still difficult, especially to do with melee, but yeah. Um, so what's next? Which boss right, you want to do now? What is next? We could... We could go and do Moog, honestly. All right, but like for Moog, I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually pull it off. <laughs> melee? So, yeah, yeah, I could try to do Moog melee um, with the same That's build. Up to you. Um, Moog is... Moog is one of my favorite fights. Well, then let's do it. Um, but... You could do doing, incants uh, if you want. It's up to you. Well, I would, but I don't have, like, the... Even, even with incantations, Moog is, Moog is very difficult to kind of pull off. Um, but I'll just do it with... I'll just try to do it with melee. I have the shackles. Surely it's not that bad, right? Surely. Um... I guess the problem. Oh, what are my flasks like? I got seven, seven. Hold on. Let me let me go and get HP flask because like mana is probably pointless here. I'm gonna be honest. I did not love the Moog fights. Um, because any heal. Uh, the thing that he does on transition. Uh, yes, that's correct. Because uh, perhaps this is because I am stupid. No, it's very bad, and it's very but hard. But I could not figure out what was happening and how to stop it from happening. Well, you can't stop it. That's why you got to get like that tier, right? There's like a side quest that you do. But there's yeah, no that's like stupid. There's no <laughs> way to like stupid. dodge it. I didn't know that either. And I, I, yeah, I don't like it as well. I wish they just like did the same thing, but let you like iframe it and like with the rolls and like dodge it, you know. But it is oh, what it is. Let's see if I can. Uh, Pull something off here. I am going to be using Moog's Shackles. I don't think I can one-shot him with this setup. I could be wrong. What does Moog's Shackle do? Uh, it shackles him. <laughs> ADEF. Oh, is that so? It is. I know. It's surprising, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Maybe maybe if I, like, buff. It might, it might actually be enough. Let's see what happens. So I usually don't tend to use shackles on my challenge runs, but yeah, I actually haven't done this in a long time, so I'm just gonna see what happens. So there's the first shackle, and then charge our twos. Right, I messed up. <laughs> Messed up. <laughs> no, 8F. Okay. This is so, a solid, solid first attempt, though. Right. I know what I did wrong there, though. I'll, I, I, I kind of got to like do the uh, charge R twos on them both at the same time so that they, they both do the same moves. I got it. I could have probably like fought him in phase two as well. Uh, this is honestly one of my favorite fights. I feel like I'm very good at it. Because I used to be really bad when we when I used to speedrun this game, and so I spent a lot of time on this fight. I spent so much time trying to like be good at it. But yeah, what I really want to do here is see. I don't like this. I kind of want them to be together so that I can hit them with the same charge R twos, but they're not exactly cooperating. Adf. How dare they? Right? Right? Okay, okay. Not to worry, not to worry. I have everything under control. It seems that way. 
I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, you know what? Let's just let's just let's just try it out. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Right. So I'll try to fight him in phase two, actually. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> that'll that'll do it. It's uh, all right. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, I gotta. You know what? You know what, Chat? This is all your fault. All right. <gasps> no. This is all your fault. <laughs> Why? It, uh, I just have to push accountability onto someone else. Mm, that's you know? good. That's a good technique. Is that what you do yeah. at parties too? Uh, yeah, usually I just, yeah, I got, I walk up to people and I'm like, you're the reason I keep dying to Moog. <laughs> and, and they say, who are you and what is that? Sir, please leave. <laughs> okay. Is this kind of okay? Hmm. Oh my god, it's just so hard. Yeah, I feel like the difference, right, is like... I also found this fight hard, but... <laughs> you the had thing, you know, one Moog, right. Like, this is a boss that benefits... It, the boss benefits a lot from having two. <laughs> Whereas in Melania, you can really split them up. There's not really a lot you can do here. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, the, the main problem here is... Uh, maybe maybe I just gotta, like, drag him away or something. We'll see. It's, it's a very different fight. Moog becomes a very different fight when it's a 2x fight. But... I mean, let's see what happens. I can, uh... I can try a few things out. Okay. Not ideal. Hopefully this guy doesn't hit me. Okay, he was friendly. Ah! Okay. See, he's dead there. If I usually, if if there's not there's not a second one, you know, I'm just gonna run away as much as I can, and I'll try to fight the guy in phase two. So yeah. Now you can't shackle Moog in phase two, which is. Oh boy, 8F. What's up, man? I might have bitten off more than I can chew here. Nah. Maybe I should, you know what? I'm gonna heal. Take it slow. This is going fine. You think so? N I'm not sure. <laughs> oh. All right, that was sick. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I, I did, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dude, that was such a late dodge. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! No! I wanna live! Alright, I got four more flasks. Two more now. Oh! 
Oh my god, dude, why is there so much IKEA? <laughs> dude, <laughs> help. I have. There's nothing I can do. Oh my god. I wish. Oh my god, I got it. Oh. All right, that's my last flask. Dude, I, I need like two more charge R2s and I'm good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I make a lot of noises when I play this game. It's half the fun. Hmm. I mean, things look good, right? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I am out of healing. Do you have a rune arc? Uh, yeah, but I don't have anything equipped, so I don't know. Does, does that actually work? I don't even know. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it does. Yeah, that's, that's going to help. Know. Never mind. <laughs> oh. So. So. Oh. Uh, it's okay. I can I can pull this off. I can pull this, this off. It's so close. Plus, once you get one it dead, was. you know you can do hitless on a second one. Yes, one hundred percent. I I just uh, I think maybe I wasted a lot of my heals on that on that uh, first attempt. All right, I I, I can definitely do this though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The uh, Moog OST is also one of my uh, favorite OSTs. It's very, very cool. Okay, never mind. Just, yeah, no comment. Sure. What? Sorry. <laughs> right. I was busy watching Ozark. You know. <laughs> You're right. That was a terrible shackle by me. Oh, hello. Heal. Yeah, what a cool attack. I'm stuck on a gravestone. Okay. How many heals do I have? Seven. It's less than before, but... Oh my god. Hmm. Right. Don't worry, just spam roll, it always works. Beautiful. I, I mean, more or less. Sorry, let me evaluate the situation right now. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Dude, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, what's your favorite television show? My favorite television show. I think of yeah. all time, probably mm -hmm. IQ. Oh my god, I'm kind of anime, And huh? then I, I would say non-anime, Succession is probably the best thing on television right now. Mm. Unbelievable. Why is that unbelievable? Yeah, mine's like Code Geass. <laughs> Have you seen it? No. Uh, really good. Aren't you also an anime enjoyer? Oh, uh, yeah. I, uh, occasionally, I guess. Been known to dabble. Yeah. Oh, I can kill him here. Oh, let's go. Massive. I'm actually good at something. 
Unfortunately, it's a video game. So you know, I wanted to be an astronaut as a kid. Is that true? I think we all had as uh, aspirations of being Wait, an really? astronaut at some point. Or I, did. Oh, I thought I was special. I always right. wanted to go to space. Hmm. But I think I'm too tall and I'm way too prone to motion sickness. Wait, you you can be too tall for space? Yeah, no. Uh, the all the like the ISS and spaceships and everything are designed for a very specific height of person. Wait, how so tall it's are you? Better to be short. I'm six feet. That's not that bad. How tall are you? Um, I'm like I'm five seven. I'm actually like 5'10 or something, but I like to I like to say I'm 5'7 so that when people actually meet me, they get impressed, you're you know? You're, you're taller than me. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like... You do that at parties too? That's good. Um, I wear elevator shoes at parties, actually. <laughs> so... <laughs> All right, elevator so shoes? <laughs> what is an elevator do shoe? Do you not know what an elevator shoe is? I know platform shoes. Well, isn't that the same thing? It's just another, like, term. I don't know. I've never heard that. I've never heard that before. All right. Face two, Moog. Uh, not the worst. I just got to, like, fight him like usual. You can strafe this attack. Very easy. Get a double charge R2 off. Roll that. Roll that. Roll that. Get an R1. Brave that. Moog is actually a very, very cool fight. I'm dead. I'm alive. Oh! oh! I'm okay. Let's go. It's such a shame that, like, Moog has the, uh, like, all this blood flame around the arena. Like, it's a really cool visual, but it makes challenge running, like, pretty annoying, especially for, like, hitless runs and stuff. Yeah, I can imagine half the arena being... Yep. Also, nice job. GG. Sick. Let's go! Cool. So that's, uh, Moog and Millennia done. If you can kill 10 more minutes, Zane, we're golden, baby. 10 more minutes? 10 minutes. All right, what boss do you guys want to see, chat? We can do... Wait, well, give us some options. We can do Estelle, maybe. Maybe Rikard. Um, Commander I hate, Neil. I, I hate Estelle. Let's do Commander... Yeah, let's do the Commander. I like that. You want to do Commander Neil? Commander Neil is actually a really cool fight. Yeah, because I, I think that fight's really interesting, actually. Um... A lot of people in chat are asking for Placid Usax. I am not doing Placid Usax. <laughs> that is quite Placid a Deus pronunciation there. Wait, is that not how you pronounce it? What do you I say? say? I say Placid Usax. I just don't understand the people that say Placid Usax. I just don't get it. Like That's it's, what you just said. You guys, no, I, well, yeah, but like it's just weird, you know? <laughs> Placid Usax is like so much better. I, Placid Usax sounds like some kind of like Arby's sandwich. <laughs> I'm dead. Aiden, why do you do this to me? I'm alive. I'm dead. Okay. We can do. Uh, we can do Commander Neil. Commander Neil is uh, difficult because I got to get to the fight. Yeah, there's no way you'd be able to do Soldier of Godric. Impossible. Well, let's see if I can get to Commander Neil first, and then we'll figure out Soldier of Godric. You know what? I'll do this skip. Uh, there's a there's a pretty neat skip that you can do to get to. Uh, Matter Neil without having to go through the uh, the actual castle. Man, I can't believe I actually finished like so many bosses on this run. Oh, what's that, Adef? I'm really good. Yeah, thank you. I didn't want to give you too much sauce, okay? Right. Because I? I, you know, look, Ain. Yes, I. It's you. Ain, you're the best gamer in the Thank world. You. Thank and I'm you. Very, I'm very proud I, I of you. I need the attention. I really need the attention. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. I just, yeah. Your mother and I are very proud. My mom doesn't know that I play video games for a living. I know that. Yeah. 
You know they're coming to stay with me next month. I do. Yeah. And uh, they're staying with you? Well, I'm going to probably get them a place because I still want to stream. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't <laughs> not stream for a month. My mom and dad think I'm like a software developer. Because um, you were. You were a software I was. Developer. I was a software developer. But then I got fired. Um, true story. And now you're doing something way better. Right. Playing video games. Probably making a lot less money, though. Uh, yeah, I'm broke, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm borderline homeless at this point. I doubt that. I haven't had dinner that, okay. in two weeks. That's not true. That's <laughs> not true. Okay, so the problem here for Commander Neil, I did the 2x run like a long time ago. These, um, I gotta kill these guys. And they are actually pretty problematic. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm like a god of this video game. Oh my god, dude. I actually, I remember struggling with this fight quite a bit. Okay, that was bad. I think I can just like R1 spam maybe. Oh, that guy's coming in. Oh. Okay. And now I just gotta fight the buddies. What the hell? How did that hit me? Okay. Well, this is, um... Yeah, it's going great! <laughs> this is gonna take way more than 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> ADEF win next zero hit league. I don't know. Ah. Why would I know why would I know the answer to that? <laughs> oh wait, someone asked you when the next zero hit league is? <laughs> yeah, but it just says win next zero hit league, ADEF. Win next zero hit league. Nice. I mean, hey, maybe you can do it, you know? Well, I have nothing to contribute. Hmm. Oh my god. I'm sitting oh. here with the voice of Elden Ring. That is true. I am the voice of Elden Ring. Ah. Such a slow fight. Oh, oh God. Oh. Right. Makes sense. Dude, if I could get, like, a couple of charge R2s off here, that would be, like, really nice. All right. Okay. Hey, that's not like this! Yes, like this. ADEF, why is the sky blue? Do you want the actual answer? Um, I used to know the answer to that. Oh, my God. I'm, like, playing this so poorly. Okay, having a few cookeries here would have been great because that would have let me, uh, you know what, what, is this? what does this do? Okay, that did like nothing. Okay. Win Halo Reach Challenges episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's great. All right, I mean, slow and steady, we're doing it. I'm out of healing, oh no. Hey, Daff, it's over. It does not seem good. Have you done this fight before, 2x or yes. 5x? Yes, a long time ago. Um, so I don't actually remember how I did it. Is the main issue. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I did it melee, but... Somebody wants to know, ADEF, how do I get my laundry to spell springtime fresh? <laughs> well, if you get inside the washing machine and then turn it on, uh, it will smell so good. <laughs> this is true. I've done it. 
Wins DS2 no hit. I already had DS2 no hit on the show. V Sweat did it like oh, a year bad. and a half ago. Well, you know what, chat? How about we go do a harder fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do a harder one. All right, I'm going to do a harder one. Close the show, all right? Um, a fan favorite fight. I mean, that's that simple. You know, everyone knows how to do it. Don't actually get inside the washing machine, please. Yeah, do not get inside the washing machine. As fun as it looks to be spinning around and around, you will I am die. not. I am not responsible for anything that has been said during That's the true. course of Me this. That's true. Me neither. Uh, yeah. All was jokes. Right. Where am I? I'm lost. Okay. Can, he can't even find his way to the soldier <laughs> of Godric. <laughs> uh, well, what do I look like? Google Maps? If you first try this boss, you have to gift 1,000 subscriptions. If I first try this boss... Yeah, or if you Why die. Why would I first try? Oh, wait, so if I first try this boss or if I die, I have to gift one. What, what's in it for me? You get to gift me 1,000 subscriptions. Right, okay. I, I've got to think about that. I, gotta, I, I need my manager to, to look into that one. I am your manager. Ah. And I've decided it's the right call. Right, okay. Sure, let me just not eat dinner for another two months. I mean, this sounds fine to me. So, yeah, when I did the 2x bosses for... for uh, Commander Neil, I'm pretty sure I used a Serpent Hunter, but... I guess I had, like, more armor or something. I actually did not prepare to do any of these bosses. But yeah, no, here we, we go. <laughs> these are... Okay. Oh, my God, he got hit. He's so bad. I'm just, I'm just like, trying to, you know, do some fancy moves. All right, like check this out. Boom. Okay, into the okay. The strafe into the backstab, into the miss, into the roll, into the strafe again, into the backstab. This is actually the hitless strap, by the way. There you go. And you, now uh, I roll, right? And now we're gonna do fist only. <laughs> you know what? Forget the fist. I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna kick. I'm just. I'm. I'm okay. Please do fist only, though. I love that. You want me to do? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it does, like, no damage. <laughs> the backstab was pretty good. The amount of things we've done on this show to <laughs> occupy time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. You guys should get me to do stuff more often, you know, when you need to, like cover for time. Oh my god, we need 10 minutes. A somebody get Ayn run. Wake somebody up. Get Ayn run. I get I'll just Ayn wake run. up. I literally woke up before this uh before the show. How was that? Um, I have a headache. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah. That's really why I couldn't do Commander Neil. Yeah, cuz it the head 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 hurt boss. Did you see that immaculate strafe that I just did right there? I did. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice jump. Uh, well, chat, I uh, hope this was a very educational experience. Yeah, do while, while you're doing this, why don't you give some plugs? What do you want people to do? So, I have some NFTs coming out soon. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed... Uh, if you guys enjoyed the <laughs> Elden Ring sub, I usually do a lot of Elden Ring challenge runs. Um, currently, there is a competition going on hosted by Team Hitless, which I'm kind of working on. It is a Hitless speed run, except you have to do it room level one. And uh, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. We're routing for that on my stream. There's a bunch of people doing that. And then, um, yeah, just just, you know, some of the uh, runs that I do, I did like a 5x bosses recently. I did a kick only run. I did a bad summons only run. So just uh, everything that you can do in Elden Ring, I guess. It's a good time. If we could get a shout out for Ain in Twitch chat, that would be great. Please do go follow Ain Run. He's I'm a also a very educational streamer. Like I like to teach people about life. And that is a firm lie. You know, concepts of... You taking know, life, taking life advice from Ain Run is not something I can necessarily I'm a very spiritual, condone. 
spiritual healing oriented streamer. Mm, is that right? Um, yeah. A lot hey, of. Hey, nice uh, job. Uh, thank you. A lot of my chatters say that I'm. Um, I, well, first off, I don't call them chatters. Okay, I, I call them friends and family. All right, so that ought to give you <laughs> oh, an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's healthy. Of That's how we healthy. conduct things, but chat. I That's, hope you guys enjoy healthy. watching. <laughs> uh, that was a two X process run. Um, you know, I'm pretty satisfied with how that worked out, and uh, yeah, hope you guys. Uh, hope you guys like that, gamers. Thank you so much for watching Challenger Approaching tonight. There is more GDQ Hotfix coming up right after a brief break. We will have Legally Cute hosting a pretty cool speedrun, and I believe one of the developers of the game will be running the game, which is pretty exciting. So be sure to stick around. That is right after this, so don't go anywhere. And another reminder, everybody, that Unapologetically Black and Fast is coming up this weekend. It's tomorrow and Sunday, pretty much all day long, a speedrunning marathon celebrating black excellence and speedrunning coming up right just tomorrow. It starts tomorrow morning. Use exclamation UBAF in Twitch chat for the schedule. Uh, reminder that tomorrow night you can see such runs as Bloodborne Hitless Any Percent Showcase from Pleasantly Twisted, which is going to be pretty sick. Um, and we've got uh, Mario RPG, we've got Pokemon Scarlet, we've got Stardew Valley. There's a lot of amazing stuff coming up, so be sure to stick around right after this for Legally Cute, and then check, a, check the channel out tomorrow for more speedrunning content. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Go follow Ain Run. I've been ADEF. You can find me as ADEF pretty much everywhere. Uh, and uh, that's all. See you later.